All right. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure all my streams are on running before I give the induction. Uh, just getting my stream ready here. For once, I think I actually sort of figured out how YouTube actually works. That's amazing. <laughs> That's uh, one of the unusual uh, things that I like. like, like oh, I think I used to get out of here. Okay. Okay. So let's make sure my Twitch is up. I see Twitch is online. Mm -hmm. I see YouTube is sending data, but YouTube should be online. Okay, so there's my notification. If you just want to get a notification, that's usually a good sign. <laughs> All right. So, okay, so <clears throat> welcome to the stream. Uh, this is the uh, KSMUT95, and I'm going to go through. Uh, the uh, line greaser, a uh, little bit of talk about uh, line greaser mobile, and then I'm going to go over, uh, you know, playing uh, line greaser on the PC engine. All right. So, but before I do that, you know, you know, the usual. Let's take care of some business that's on on hand. And uh, and today, um, I went and uh, you know digging through archives, and uh, basically, I uh, found a big uh, you know stack of uh, some pretty cool uh, PC engine games. Uh, for the um, uh, that are sort of anime based, okay. So I thought, oh, hmm, maybe I should, uh, you know, pull this out and see if I can, uh, you know, put them into a video or something. And of course, I'm, um, you know, sourcing out and getting ready to do an episode of the uh, history of fan anime. Um, and of course, <clears throat> uh, with that, um, I want to be able to, you know. Do some research and find out what these games are about before I actually uh, record that episode. So do uh, you know? Do check my channel out and uh, and uh, see if um, you know when the you know the result or the, the, the shall I say the edited cut down version of this particular thing. So um, so again, if you should join the stream, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a little started on that on uh, some uh, uh, language as soon as I uh, you know like I said. Um, Go through and uh, just check out the stack of uh, PC Engine games. So, uh, for beginners here, well, let's quickly set uh, what stack are you talking about? Well, you know, I went to archives and and pulled out this uh, great wealth of cool stuff here. So, let's just quickly show you here. There you go. There you go. So, you know, there's a nice little stack of like you know, pretty cool anime games. Uh, you know, for the uh, PC Engine here. <coughs> there's another popular one here. And of course, your favorite, like, you know, like a ball, change of wheel, and, you know, classic things like that. Like, well, okay, so, um, so I'm gonna go through these, uh, you know, very quickly. Just gonna boot them up, see what the, uh, you know, the, you know, get past the opening, and just just really see what these games are kind of like, and uh, and then, uh, you know, and then give them a try. Okay, and then we'll we'll go from there. All right, so, so I've got the first one, um, which I've loaded up here. Okay. Uh, this is a game called uh, Galaxy Frontline Yuna. Okay, now I'm not exactly sure who which one exactly came first, whether it was the anime first or whether it was the PC Engine game that, that came out. Uh, I'm under the inclination it's probably the PC Engine version uh, game that actually came out first uh, before the anime. But you know, it is a pretty cool thing. Um, again, uh, one of the nice things about these uh, you know games is the fact that uh, you know. They uh, really are reflective of the sort of um, you know the era that they were in. Um, you know, a lot of these games uh, when they first came out uh, uh, have uh, <clears throat> you know they have the um, voice actresses and that kind of stuff because uh, that's the really big you know thing uh, that, that 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 was on those things is that this is the first time that you get um, you know. Uh, Real CD audio quality uh, and that kind of stuff, and again, because it's also anime, is a pretty cool, um, you know, sort of uh, uh, thing that that, that, that happens uh, when they get when they come out, right? It's because every, because at the time, everyone knows was only had you know like, like like the Sega Genesis or the um, you know or the Super Nintendo, right? So things like voices and uh, and that stuff really didn't work very well. Well, you know, you know eight bit 
you know modulated sound it's really really pretty hard to to get any um you know <clears throat> good quality of sound right so okay so here we have the okay and so another really popular thing is this uh, game here uh, for Yuna was really cool. Um, yeah, he's one of the Yuna is because of the fact that it, it has a lot of really cool female voice actors and that kind of stuff. So a lot, you know, I said in Japan, um, there's this really sort of an idol following for um, for like voice actors because you know once they get used to a particular role or voice, they really like the, uh, you know really like and they continue following them. So then this particular anime uh, is Yuna. Okay, this, this game is made by Hudson Soft. Let's see if I try to speed through the opening credits here. See? Yeah, it's a full... Yeah, you can see this with a full anime uh, theme song too. Again, what's really neat is that these anime theme songs, um, you can actually get them on the CD because uh, you know, the, the PC Engine CD, you can actually take the, the you know this PC Engine CD and actually stick it into a CD player and you can actually play it. So that's why you actually get this opening theme song for Yuna uh, that actually can play through. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. And so, yeah, it's a little opening for some of the funny characters in, in Yuna here. And, you know, although it's a, a, a space theme, you know, a lot of people would believe that, uh, you know, this is another one of these, uh, uh, you know, um, magical girl shows for the most part, even though it's, it, it, it is a, you know, a sci-fi type of uh, thing. Again, girls in hard suits. Uh, you know, this is definitely, if, uh, you know, it follows the same theme, um, you know, well, I mean, even though it came quite a bit after the, uh, the, the whole entire... Uh, uh, you know, uh, Gundam Girls and, uh, you know, uh, Bubblegum Crisis, uh, you know, all these type of, you know, uh, type things, uh, yeah, basically, let's uh, fit the, uh, you know, the armor onto the girls, and uh, there we go, then, then all of a sudden, you know, they're like, you know, uh, you know, battle, they're, you know, they're like battle bots, you know, and stuff like that. All right, uh, okay. Welcome to the stream there, Dad. <laughs> so again, you know, there's a little bit of a, you know, prequel to the story here, uh, as Alina is getting attacked by all the, the, the masked weirdos, uh, you know. What? Where'd you go? And then it's like, oh, ha, 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 ha. The guy goes, what, what? Oh, over there. Ta -da. Who is it? Is it Tuxedo Mask? No. Is it Sailor V? No. It's the, uh, the guardian angel against the bad weirdos. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, are they? So yeah, again, the introduction of the various characters, and again, this is one of these type of things where, um, you know, in the game, uh, you know, uh, you know, they want you to sort of, you know, play through the anime that you, you know, that you'd watched, and then basically because you're kind of like playing through the game, it, it gives you 
that feeling that you're actually in the anime sort of thing. You know, it's like, like you are a part of the anime. You somehow have some sort of control over the game, you know, of, of being in the anime. So if, again, um, you have to remember the era, right? Uh, uh, you know, you would go out and you'd buy uh, Yuna the anime, and then you know, so the company that makes money on 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 the laser discs and off the sales of the anime, of course. And then, of course, you know, they want to make more money somehow, right? So they got to sell you art books they're gonna to want to try to sell you some posters they want to sell you you know maybe some pencils and some you know rain your pencils and that kind of stuff but the other way that they can really make money on it is they can make a game okay like this and then what they do with it is, is that you know you know the you know, depending on the complexity of the game uh you know it, it will basically you know depend on how, how long it'll take to to re-release it and whatnot but um, in this particular case, they, they basically made it so that, uh, you know, let's just take the anime and then we'll put you into the game and then we'll let you kind of you know, play through it as a character or as, uh, you know, you control the characters. And then, you know, since you sort of know what the plot is because you watch the anime, then you can then, um, you know, sort of manipulate and, and, and kind of go through, relive it again, as it were, okay? So, so Galaxy Fun and Yuna. This is sort of like a, you know the, the play through the anime type of game, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's kind of cool. There. All right, and so welcome to the uh, to the stream. Uh, there's some new users. I see that the you know the there's quite a few more, more of you on the YouTube there. So welcome to the stream. Um, today we're going to go through a few uh, PC Engine games before. We begin uh, doing our stream. So the next anime game that I, I pulled out of this uh, stack of uh, PC Engine games is uh, Gunbusters. Okay, so that's this uh, uh, one right here. So this is uh, uh, you know uh, uh, Top of Eye, Okay, which is Gunbusters, um, and this is the game uh, for the PC Engine for the anime Gunbusters. All right, so we got to pop this uh, CD in there and we'll find out uh, uh, what this game's right about okay and okay so we'll let that uh, boot up a little bit so welcome to the uh, users of uh, uh, like on the stream uh, basically while I'm booting this up uh, I'm gonna go check on the, on, on these uh, on the stream here so because uh, it takes you know <laughs> you know uh, the, the CD technology on these things is, is, is kind of uh, funny because it sometimes you know it does take that little bit of extra time for the uh, you know the CD to kick in and load up, so you know, it gives me a little bit of time to to, to go and, uh, check on the see responses here. Okay, North Two Thousand, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I love these videos. Keep it up. Okay, come on. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Uh, you know, uh, definitely enjoy uh, making up these streams and uh, you know answering your questions and helping that. Uh, okay, thank you again. Uh, let's see, Kenny Lazdell, are you translating this in real time? Uh, wow. <laughs> well, okay, that's the story about it. Okay, I mean, um, uh, you know. I'm not like I mean I've I've taken a little bit of Japanese and, and, and you know and I've I've fan subbed you know very close to probably like a thousand episodes and movies of uh, Japanese animation. That doesn't mean that I actually sat there and translated all one thousand episodes of, of, of anime or or whatnot. Um, when I went to school and uh, in university, um, you know I only you know because you you know you had the requirement of taking a, a language course. You know I did take uh, Japanese one hundred. Um, I didn't do extremely well on that because uh, you know the the, the 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 dialogue or the talking part of the uh, of the thing well, you know I wasn't very good at okay so I couldn't for example hold a conversation it took me too long to listen to what you just said and I'm going to okay no, 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 okay you went no, no, so I have to use this version of the verb uh, honorary version okay so I'm gonna take that move that to the end and like you know okay so uh, you know so the the, the entire process of, co of, of sentence construction and that kind of stuff really took me too long so I, I really um, sucked at that but um, 
I do have enough rudimentary Japanese that I can read most of those sort of things. I sort of know a lot of, about the animes and that kind of stuff, so I can kind of you know, predict and know what the, what, what certain lines and certain words are, are, are. so that's why um, you know, I can do that kind of thing. So it, it, it uh, you know, it, uh, it masks the fact that I, I really don't actually, you know, you know, like, you know, read it word by word, parse it, you know, thing, you know, thing, thing. So that, you know, that's why, you know, I can go, okay, yeah, I know this is, you know, <clears throat> uh, you know, the, the different character names, you know, Noriko or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's why. All right. So, uh, this game is made by Riverhill Soft. Oh yeah. And of course the, the, the SD, uh, um, uh, gun busters. So this is when, uh, again, if you remember in the anime, if they have to explain something to the audience, for example, uh, you know, how, for example, um, I don't remember how the anime works, um, uh, they were trying to explain the concept of um, light speed travel, okay? So according to Einstein, if you're know, closer to the speed of light that you travel, uh, you know, time dilation from around the... So, so they had to explain that entire thing. And when they did the explain of that, they did it in front of a chalkboard like this, um, and they used the super deformed, you know, Norco's and, 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 and whatnot to, to, to actually do it, right? So... Um, uh, do this one, huh? Okay, so we're gonna start. Okay. Okay, uh, going back to Kenny there, it says uh, we're getting some audio uh, buzz from the real side. Yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the buzz is not actually coming from the uh, from the console. Um, it's actually coming because uh, the way I'm doing this is, is, is I'm using what they call the Magic Engine. Uh, PC Engine emulator um, on certain games, for example, uh, you know, or actually, well, probably from, from all games, I should say. I shouldn't really say from certain games. Um, uh, all, uh, from um, any of the games, I should be theoretically you know, like, like pulling out a PC Engine console and playing it on there and then basically streaming the audio through there. Um, but indeed, what I'm doing is to, you know, to, to, get, to give you the slightly higher resolution picture, um, I'm basically uh, doing it off the emulator here. Uh, so that you get to see a better, um, you know, a better, crisper, cleaner um, looking uh, video. Um, but as a sacrifice, I have to pump the audio out, out of the computer through a mixer, and I'm mixing the, uh, you know, the the, 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 the the microphone and what kind of stuff uh, through this uh, back into the computer. So it's kind of big, what, kind of you know, out of the computer, back into the computer, uh, kind of loop. So that's where a little bit of the audio hum is coming from. Um, I think it's also probably because uh, it's also coming kind of from from my Tascom. Um, uh, mixer, so um, you know it, it was only specifically designed for um, recording audio cassettes and that kind of stuff. <laughs> Another outdated you know, technological thing. Who in the hell uses audio cassettes anymore, right? So, <laughs> um, so because of that, uh, yeah, you're getting a little bit of a hum uh, from that, but uh, you know, hopefully it's not uh, it's not too bad. Um, Cause I, you know, at least I don't hear it too badly on my on, well, at least on my Twitch side, I don't I don't hear it too badly. So I don't know if it's a if it's just a you know a stereo thing or whatever. Uh, Should have uh, worked anyway. So we'll see. Um, anyway, uh, so here I'm going to move on to this menu here. I'm going to continue here. Okay. Somehow, gamer. This is a gunbuster. Good movie, and really interesting ending. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. The ending for Gunbuster was really, uh, you know, really kind of got me because I said, uh, you know, I, I remember watching that one, and and and, um, and uh, you know, we used to do these uh, anime showcases um, at uh, Douglas College, uh, basically. Um, what we do back in the day is that, um, you know, not everybody is able to, you know, like for example, um, um, uh, you know, uh, let me start this uh, train of thought again, cause I'm trying to think of two things here <laughs> to, um, to answer your question. Um, basically what, what, what's happening is, is that, uh, you know, um, you know, there's, there's all this anime out, but you can't, you know, go to like to the internet to to download it or stream it, right? Because you know the internet's too slow. These files are just imaginally 
uh, huge, right? So um, the, the only way that you can kind of watch these animes is you'd have to go to like a video store, you know, i.e. Blockbusters or something. You know, I, 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 you know, I ran an anime store, so you can come down to, to my store and you can rent a copy of Gunbusters and, you know, take it home and watch it. But for those people who, you know, who didn't have the ability to do that or, or, or were too lazy to, or didn't want to, um, one of the things that we did once every month um, we um, we rented uh, the, one of the lecture hall theaters um, at Douglas College, okay, one of the local you know colleges, and then basically uh, you know the big huge lecture hall theater. You got the you know the screen and um, you know behind the you know obviously you know the teacher. The teacher would have a you know a podium where he could you know um, uh, you know do his lesson or lecture, okay. But uh, in this console, right, you had the ability of mic input and you also had uh, you know audio in, uh, uh, input that you know for, so you can use the big speakers you know right behind you there you know it's just big uh you know stage speakers and you can also then pump in uh video so that it show on the projection screen so that you can pull down the big huge proje uh, 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 projection screen and then you can then stream uh, or show your video or presentation on on, on that for you uh for that right um so you know again for the you know for, for the presentation of uh uh Three seconds. I seem to have uh, done something wacky here, um, and so uh, uh, you know, people would uh, come up. You know, every month uh, it was on Sunday. Um, you would come out uh, to these uh, to these um, you know what they call you know we what we call anime showcases. I mean, some people call up you know the weekly anime you know or some monthly anime meeting or club meeting or something like that or. You know, Japanese Animation Society, uh, you know that type of thing, and we, you know, you, you'd be able to come out, uh, you know, once a month, and then you'd be, uh, you know, presented and given, um, you know, different sort of animes or movies and features that you could watch. And then one of the ones, you know, the, the, obviously, you know, was a really popular one was the Gunbuster series, one, two, and three together, or, or uh, you know, repackaged into a movie version, and um, you know that, you know, that was really, you know, that was really cool. So yeah. Uh, you know, so basically, if you are like an anime fan, you can come out, uh, you know, and, and you know, come in, and, you know, enjoy some anime, and uh, you know, and uh, see that on the large screen. So you know, th th it was really, really, uh, you know, kind of a cool experience uh, for those people, sort of you know, getting into that, right? Um, just gonna double check my my Twitch stream here. Um, so. Um, to get back to Gunbusters, I remember uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, watching. It's a little different because, like you know, so you, you know, you know how you, you if you watch anime at home on a small little tiny screen, and this is you know the era of you know before TVs were like you know thirty six inches or whatever, you know, computer screen monitors, you know, that kind of era, right? So you know, we weren't, you know, no one's really had a really big screen, right? So all of a sudden, to be able to go to like a you know to like a college or something like this and just get this massive massive like you know projection screen behind the you know wh wh where normally where the teacher would stand you know you're able to watch anime on, on this huge you know theater like experience right and so i remember you know we were watching uh, gunbusters and uh there's this you know of course the ending of gunbusters right where basically okay i'm not gonna tell you exactly but you know they're flying back to earth and you know and um you know and you know, th 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 it's just that ending, right? It was just, it's just so dramatic, right? It was just like you know, it was dark, and all of a sudden, you know, they're flying back in. They're they're they're, 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 they're putting out the communication, you know, and they're you know, remember because of the time dilation, right? You know, they were, you know, these girls come back from 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 light speed, but the problem is is that you know, time around them has changed, right? So, you know. Being 20 seconds in in hyperspace meant that you know that that the world around them, okay, the Earth around them, and all this stuff, you know, has progressed, you know, not hundreds of years, but literally probably thousands of years. So by the time they got back to Earth after they saved the Earth, you know, there's you know the, this is dark Earth, right? So like you know what what the hell happened, right? Because they were, they were showing up on, on the dark side of the Earth, right? And so. You know, you wonder. Well, you know, thousands of years later, you know, has everybody on Earth died? Obviously, anyone who knew these two girls has already, you know, has already long, long passed. And so, you know, to see the, you know, the lights show up, and you know, it was a, you know, 
a very very powerful scene. It's still you know to, to this day. If I you know when I watch it and I think about it, it it's, it's it's really a you know a, a really a touching um, you know section uh, to that. Okay. So, um, but uh, yeah, definitely that's you know it, it's, again it, it's a totally different day and a different time for uh, you know for, for for running anime and uh, you know. And I, and it said it, again, it's something that, that that we that we wouldn't do in the modern day now. So it's it's just, I guess it's a little different. Um, so basically, yeah. So this game is is a, 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 a sort of a, a, a you know a play through the anime uh, game again, and uh, you know basically allows you to you know like you know you, they basically use the scenes and stuff for, for, from the anime. And it basically allows you to go, you know, as you know, a Norco and that kind of stuff, go through the anime and go through the same sort of sort of, sort of sequences again, okay? And so, and the reason why they do this, of course, is because obviously you've gone out and you've bought and and watched um, Gunbusters, the the, the the OEVA or the movie, and uh, you know, so so they made up money off of you for doing that, and. They want you to then now go and say, "Well, okay, we got to find an, another vehicle to make some more money." <laughs> so why not the easiest way? Let's you know make a game, right? And then you know sort of you know make you play the game again, and and then therefore you have to pay another. Oh, how much? How much is this game? This game is like ah oh, da 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 da. Okay, I don't have the Obi. Do I still have the Obi strip for this? No, I don't have the Obi strip for this. So I'm thinking this game is probably seven thousand yen, so about another seventy bucks to buy this game. And this is only volume one, by the way. There's a volume two to this game, so, um, so, you know, you can see, and just just to do a translation of the of the price, seven thousand yen is you know one cent to the one yen sort of thing so this is like seven dollars us to buy this particular game and you know and, and unlike today you know you, you know you're not getting like you know this in the discount bin you know right away right it's, and even if you did you know there ebay was not the same as it was and 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 uh, you know yahoo auctions is not the way it is so you know, you're not getting a really good di you know price discount uh, even that so I mean you really had to pay this price if you really wanted it and even if you wanted it this way and, and, and you ordered it the markup was really really high because a lot of people you know a lot of people um, you know if you wanted this game you'd be like okay you know they ordered from Japan like, like look, let's, let's say your, your local video game store uh, or whatever in let's say Seattle or something right uh, you know, import video game store, um, and then you wanted th they wanted to get this game in, right? They couldn't get it. Like, 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 there's no special discount. There's no like 50% off or whatever retail price. No, no, no. They had to go onto the shelf, basically at, at you know, like uh, um, Kinyukunu or something, or or uh, you know, uh, Akihabara or something like that. Go there, you know, pay seven thousand yen to buy this off the shelf. Maybe they get a discount, sixty-five thousand yen. Okay, so sixty-five bucks or whatever. Then they have to take this. They have to mail this all the way back over to wherever Seattle or whatever. Okay, um, and then and then, you know, so they have to pay that. They have to, they, you know, then they have to pay the shipping. Okay, and then of course now they have to make a profit on it. So I mean, so they're gonna have to add another ten, fifteen, twenty bucks on it, and then you get it. Okay. Plus taxes or whatever, all that kind of stuff. So this could easily cost like ninety, a hundred bucks US by the time you it comes to you, okay. Um, and that was the way it was because again, you know, um, th this is the the regular retail stuff. Now, of course, you know a lot of people here, are, you know, balking at the fact that you know, oh my God, I'm paying sixty nine dollars for NBA two K or whatever, and blah 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 blah, and and they still have, uh, you know. Uh, you know, you know, you know, in-app purchases and all that. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. But but yeah, you know, considering yeah, back at this time, you couldn't do that, right? It's just, just you know, if you wanted this game, you had to fish out the money, and here you go, you know, no choice. That's it. Too bad. Okay, so let's go to the next game here. So again, for those people, uh, uh, you know, thank you for joining the the, the stream. Uh, I can see uh, Zara Wadru. Seventy bucks—that's a lot of money. <laughs> Back in the day, 
you know, 70 bucks was nothing because, again, you had to pay for everything, okay? Um, you know, there wasn't, uh, as I said, like, you know, like today, you can't just say, well, I like, you know, you know Gunbusters, I'm just going to go onto YouTube or whatever to, to, to watch it. You can't because, you know, streaming services and that stuff weren't available. You had to actually pay for a physical form of media to get it, right? So these people like, you know, Blockbusters and that kind of stuff, they, you, you know, had to get a physical DVD, physical video cassette of Gunbusters, and then you would have to then go out and rent it or buy it, get that video cassette, put it into a VCR, put it into a DVD player, and then actually play it in order for you to, 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 to see the anime. You couldn't, you know, said, it's just streaming services and that stuff just weren't available. So, you know, and uh, yeah, so that's, so that, that, that's what it is. So, oh, so, so that was the game, that, that was the, uh, this particular game. This is uh, Ace, uh, or sorry, this is Tapunarai, uh, okay, which is a which is a, a parody of the of the name Tapunarai. Tapunarai is a tennis anime, okay, and so Ace Narai is this one here, which is referred to as Gunbusters, okay. Um, so okay, so again, welcome to the the, the, the new people that are on the stream. Um, I was about to begin doing uh, Langrisa. Uh, we'll talk about Langrisa Mobile, Langrisa on uh, Warsong for the PC Engine. But before I do that, I you know I want to get some stuff out of the way, and um, so I came up with uh, looking through my uh, archives, and I'm getting ready to do an episode of the history of fan anime. And I thought the topic would be, hey, why not uh, do uh, an episode about anime video games? And so again, uh, so I pulled out a stack of uh, games and. Uh, and uh, so I'm just gonna go through and just 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 do a teaser and just kind of boot them up, just kind of talk about it a little bit, and then get your guys' response, and then you know, uh, you know, answer some responses, and uh, you know, you know, give some stories and and, and exclamations, and uh, you know, and by all means, if you have some comments and stories, put it into the stream, and uh, and uh, it'll show up, okay? And all you people out there, uh, I'm, I'm simulcasting this both on Twitch and YouTube. Um, uh, if you look right below here. The chat channel right here is from the Twitch feed, so if you guys are not on Twitch, uh, join and make the switch to Twitch, um, and then your comments will show uh, up down here. Okay, uh, but don't worry, I do still have a YouTube uh, side. Uh, I can see you, uh, not as easily, but I can, <laughs> I can see you, um, and I'll make uh, comments in that uh, as I, as the, the things are be uh, booting up. Okay, so. Uh, for the people who are new, uh, you can quickly just show here. This is the stack of games that I pulled out. All right, so you can see there's uh, quite a few, uh, you know, really cool anime games and that kind of stuff here. Uh, so yeah, I'll just, you know, so, so as you know, throughout the throughout the evening, I'm just gonna just gonna, just gonna go and you know sort of boot these up and uh, you know show you what they all are about and uh, you know you know talk about them and kind of. Uh, See what they're you know because like I said most of you probably you know again at at the time these came out you guys are all sitting there on on your Sega Genesis and on your Super Nintendo playing Street Fighter and going Mortal Kombat oh yeah this is my best game and uh, oh I was like so so you know so so these guys are all so, so that's when you know you guys were playing with this stuff and then of course this is when the PC Engine came in and then all this stuff was coming out so again. So at one point, you know, you can kind of imagine, you know, this fighting game genre type of thing. Uh, you know, that was the cool thing. That's what's going on. But you know, th there's this whole other sort of anime uh, genre thing that's coming out on the PC Engine. Because again, the PC Engine was, you know, was considered to be the number one um, otaku game system. Like it was the it was the game system for anime, and because most of the games that came out were for, for anime. Okay. Okay. So how you like that uh, new webcam that uh, set up? It, it's actually working out pretty good there, Jed. Yeah. All right, so it's pretty clear actually. It's, it actually works. I, I need to figure out how to mount the thing, but because I kind of got it on a rubbery arm right now, but uh, it works well, not too badly. Okay, so the next one I got here is this thing called yes, Mobile Police Pat Labor. Okay. Um, now Pat Labor was the uh, third TV series that. Um, um, that uh, Arctic Animation had uh, done the fan subs for, so again, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know uh, Dice. It was one of again one of those uh, those animes that that, that that Dice got really into because his favorite character was uh, Commander Goto. Uh, you know, he always loves all the weird characters. But <laughs> so we did that one. So we opened this up, and then this is basically Pat Labor, which is the chapter of Griffin. Okay, and again, uh, the. Uh, 
then comes on the CD here. Uh, they refer to this as the chapter of the Griffin. And we'll put that in and we'll give that a shot there. Okay. And uh, what the hell happened here? Just go back on the stream here. All right. Okay, so the chat on the YouTube is going crazy. You know, the, the, one of the things I kind of wish that the integration of uh, of YouTube is that uh, you know the, the, the chat is so horrible in there because <laughs> I you know because trying to get that chat onto this window is like you know uh, apparently everyone has problems doing so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here while I'm booting it up, I'll I'll, uh, I'll catch up on the chat on the YouTube side there. Um, uh, let's see, Double Guy Jin. Is that uh, Digichan I see in the background? Yes. That, uh, well, you have good eyes, I tell you. In the background, uh, it's probably one of the episodes that you, that you missed out. Uh, I, I did uh, Galaxy Frontal in Yuna, okay, on, on a previous uh, thing. And um, so we were working on that one uh, just before it. So. Um, so. I guess I'll have to do that in the previous day, but yes, uh, Galaxy Front and Union was one of the was one of the was one of the popular ones that that, that came out, and uh, and again, again, a lot of people liked it because of the uh, the voice actors, because again, that, that was the the big new concept that wasn't available on the Sega Genesis or the or or, or the um, uh, uh, you know um, Super Nintendo's is that now all of a sudden you get real voice actors, real sounding CD quality, um, uh, you know, audio. And that was one of the first, you know, new, uh, yeah, so. Uh, it's a yeah, Kenny Lario. It's so cute. They use the the science lesson and chibi artwork. Yeah, it's, it's again the, for 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 Gunbusters. That's how they they, they are doing all the the, the information. Uh, I, I think they also did that in um, in Slam Dunk. Whenever they needed to ex explain a basketball term, they use SD characters to to on a chalkboard to explain uh, basketball technology uh, you know, terminology. So it was a, it was a popular way to do things back in the day. Um, I think it was uh, the first one who said that uh, my Japanese sucks. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Uh, ah, I could tell it was Hajimeje. Yes. Uh, don't worry. Uh, my setup of the PC Engine is a little CRT, and the CRT can't uh, capture both uh, using weird setups. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Modifying them, there's, <laughs> the, the CRT steps are really, really weird. And I explained in the in a previous episode when I was working at Radio Shack, uh, they uh, they use these uh, Hitachi TV slash uh, you know CRT monitors, and they're mounted in a in, in a console, not straight up heads up like that. They're mounted at an angle, you know, facing downward, so that when you played the console, you weren't like holding your head up, you know, gaming like this. Um, they had it angled like you know, like 45 degree down, so that so that you'd actually point your head down like this, and then you know your controls are like this, and so so that way you know you were you were always constantly looking down and stuff. So I guess you know it was really kind of a a, a bad way to you know to to, to 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 set it up because but it was it, but it's low profile, so it basically made it so that uh, you can um uh you know so that you can actually you know. Take less space. You can look over it and 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 uh, and whatnot. Okay. Okay. So what they refer to this game as, okay, and if you look at the back of the um, uh, of the CD, okay, they refer to this as a digital comic. Okay. So this is again made to be a a game, but it's sort of like let's play through the game as a digital comic, as a as an adventure game. Uh, I guess in this era. Uh, if you ever play things like Zork or uh, you know um, you know uh, King's Quest, okay, it's basically picture, lots of text below it. You can maybe type something. You can do a little little you know some answers and questions, and 
Um, so, you know, you can do a little next. It goes, it loads up the next screen. Okay, so again, you can pick which chapter you want to go, you go to. But let's, uh, you know, let's just pick this up on you. Okay, so so basically, it'll show you, you know, a series of pictures. It'll basically go through different parts of the story. Obviously, we're doing the the, the whole entire Asura, um, you know, timeline with the, with, with the Griffin. Okay, and um, basically, uh, you know, they want to let you relive it again in a you know, I said in a digital comic, but how give you some ways of doing some interaction. Okay, and this is really a popular way to do it, right? Because because. So this way, uh, you know, you, not only did you, you can get, you know, use a lot of the the the, uh, the, uh, the animations that you see in the in the show, add some new pictures that you might not have seen before, um, and then get the voice actors uh, if you need to make some new scenes or create some new sh uh, cut, cuts, then you can get them to come in and add some more audio that that wasn't before. So it's, it's almost like the director's cut. But you can actually play a little bit of the director's cut, so they, it's a little bit of both, right? So it's, it's kind of like the game within within the anime, but not on the DVD kind of thing, right? So uh, that was you know, the, the 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 new transitional thing that that that, that they put onto this, okay? Okay, so. So yes, yeah, so this is what the the, the, the Pat Larry game is. It is referred to as a digital comic. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, let's go to the next one here. Uh, where's Chad going here? Says, ah, voices are talking to me on a box while I play video games. <laughs> I, I guess it's sort of like what well, was back in the store when when people are talking behind your back while you're playing video games, right? That's the other way to do it, right? Or across the room, like, are you guys okay over there? You know, you can hear these guys yelling and screaming and uh, whooping and whopping or going, you know, uh, making weird jokes and just just you know, big huge cracking out laughing, going, okay, what are you guys doing in my games, right? Let's see. Ken Ordell goes, uh, those fans of VHS tapes are uh, probably lost media right now. Uh, I'm sure they're mostly unplayable due to being copied five times over most of the time. And I thought I've lost uh, some history. <laughs> history burns me out. Yeah, you're true. Um, there are, so, you, know, you know, now we're getting to an era where they like, you know, the, you know those, some of those fans of video cassettes that I have, are approaching 20 plus years old now so if you haven't uh, you know transferred them over then yeah they're gonna get pretty rough and i've, I've got you know, i mean i still have um, some vh svhs masters of some of the things that I, I still have and i've you know five ten years ago i did transfer most of what i had onto the dvdrs so um you know so i probably caught them at a, at a, at a good at a, at a good time but again you know uh, as, as as I commented on, on my channel, you know, again, it's you know, eventually there will be times where um, you know we get our technology, our speed, and that kind of stuff fast enough that that that, that uh, you know we'll have the equivalent of of a universal translator uh, available, and we won't need or uh, you know or Babelfish, uh, you know the the you know we'll have a you know we'll vent Babelfish and. Um, and uh, you know we won't need to have fan subs and that kind of stuff anymore because you know we'll understand what's going on, okay? But you know who knows? We'll we'll see what happens. Uh, and uh, hey, uh, Dante is being alive. Hey, nice to see you on the stream there. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, thanks for the shout out as well. Yeah, uh, I noticed that a lot of people are are are, uh, are got, got your message and got your. Uh, but you got your mass spamming and uh, keep doing it. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Um, uh, let's see. Top and Rye, one of those. Uh, yes. Thank you, Dante. Um, the further you get from the earth, the less effect that you have, the time has on you, or something like that. Ah! I don't know if that's what the the, the 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 you know the whole concept was. I remember 
you know, it, it was like the whole microcosm of the Earth or whatever. Considered the you know the humans or that as some sort of virus or something. You know, you know the whole entire concept of physics was, was totally messed up in Godmother in the first place. I mean, uh, I, I mean, you know, you know the the, the guided laser beams was like <laughs> was like a concept. Like, how does that work? You know what I mean. I mean, okay, sure. Uh, uh, in an anime, that probably works like you know well, but I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, did anybody ask like anybody like you know who knew anything about science or physics? You know, the concept of guided laser beams, but um, but for an anime, it works. Sure. Um, um my my friend, um, um, Matt. Okay, Matt Sinobu. Uh, he has uh, a book or two books actually um, written in Japanese um, basically uh, and um, and the, the I guess the best way to sort of describe it is it is a um, a book about the uh, physics uh, the science behind anime okay and basically what they do is is this book in one chapter for example will take an anime and it'll use, um, you know, it'll use, uh, you know, quite detailed uh, analysis, uh, of physics, uh, you know, dynamics, and all the whole bit um, to basically explain and try to rationalize things that you saw in anime, and and and, and you know what would be needed to do this particular thing, and and how it would do it, where it would get from, and I remember. Um, uh, he was commenting or he was trying to tell me the, 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 the whole kind of thing because again at the time I was going to UB, you know, UBC and, and I was learning a lot about you know, things like fluid mechanics and all these formulas and vectors and all this blah 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 things that you would do in, in, in university and um, and uh, the first uh, 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 chapter of the book was um, uh, on the uh, space battleship Yamato okay and it tried to rationalize uh, the concept of how the wave motion cannon works, okay, and um, part of the calculations that was needed was is that okay, if you remember in Star Wars, right, they, they built the Death Star, and it had the ability to basically use a beam or energy to to to, to destroy Alderaan, okay, so they were kind of going okay, well the the, the, the Yamato had the ability to take this and and and, and blow up uh, something using a wave motion thing, using I don't know some weird thing, and it generated whatever, and this beam comes or focused out of the the, the thing and blew up the planet or whatever, right? So they're like, okay, so it would require this many blah 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 things of energy, and this would you know, blah blah blah. So let's use um uh you know reverse uh, fusion whatever breaking out of atoms or whatever you know so this would be equal to so many atomic bomb explosions and the energy from this would be transferred by whatever and so you know let's assume zero loss of energy whatever from transfer from uh, you know whatever nuclear energy to uh kinetic energy or something and then it would be like you know fire and then hit the planet and create this other thing and blow it up but then you know, then we get into the like, okay, well then there's also this Newton's, you know, you know, law of, you know, things. So every equal, um, um, you know, action needs a equal reaction. So, so, you know, the, 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 so you think we're talking about now recoil. So, so here the ship is firing this, you know, beam cannon into this planet. It has this many much kinetic energy going forward uh, towards the planet. So therefore, uh, you know, the, the the Yamato would have to be pushed backwards away from the planet at this many blah 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 blah, and you know, so it was it was, it was a really in depth book about you know some of the stuff and that, and, and it, it just come up with some totally you know, like like it, it was you know, it was more of a math exercise to make you go through the math and through the calculations and that kind of stuff to come up with thing and then at the end it, it, it doesn't tell you yeah this is impossible or this is not or, or you know these are ways that they could counteract the, you know this kind of stuff but it would actually make it and try to do the calculations for you and 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 uh, and, uh, and do it so it was a really good read and uh, 
I don't remember the name of it right off the top of the nut, and I know that in one of my YouTube, YouTube streams, I actually wrote it down and made a mention of it. I'll have to pull it up uh, when that comes out. And that uh, you know, but you're right. I, I kind of hope that the, that that that, that um, yeah, you know, something comes up uh, and they make something of it. Okay. Now, why I got off on this tangent before it is because I'm looking at the next title, and the next title is um, the. Space Cruiser Yamato, the game, okay? And so, that's where the topic kind of sort of came to my mind. And, and uh, so, so, let's take the game. Let's boot it up here. Okay. So, yes, uh, Zawaduru. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look up that title for you, and then uh, you can ask me again later. And I'll try to remember to put that onto the uh, uh, information below. Uh, can you, uh, it's funny that uh, modern anime uh, pays homage to Gainax uh, when Gunbusters uh, and itself had the entire parody of Aim for the Ace. And, uh, yeah, just exactly. Yeah. So again, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, gu you know, gu you know, Gunbusters and that kind of stuff came from Ace, the Ace of the Narai. And it was good. It was a you know it was a that in itself was a good anime. I mean, you no, know, for as, as sports animes go, it was kind of you know kind of that kind of thing. You know, personally, I like you know. I do like some um, sports animes and that kind of stuff. The only thing I didn't like about Ace and Rai, and I didn't, I don't like that character designer. Um, why? Because the female characters look too stylish. The eyes look really, really stylish. And what was worse is that the, the the male characters look too feminine, and the female characters look too masculine. So I, you know, you know, that, that's just sort of a, a bad mixture of the two. So here we go, the Yamato comes back out from underneath the dried up sea and, you know, to raise up and and, and fight the Gamelons. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Classic enemy. All right. For uh, the god, uh, what is the run button? Okay, well, you can configure the run button to whatever key you want, but I, I've chosen it to be the return. <laughs> Just make it easy. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the emulator is very configurable. Uh, somehow a gamer? Yeah, that's hardcore, yeah. <laughs> Anime in the, in the early days, you really had the hardcore. It's a different kind of anime fan. Um, in the early days than it is now, that's for sure. Absolutely. Uh, okay, have to have a good night, Kenny. Yeah, indeed, that's it. <laughs> for no good, yeah. Anime, video games, what's that? <laughs> what, they don't make video games about anime? <laughs> it's like, and actually, surprisingly enough, you consider how many um, cartoons that we have, okay? And you consider that they never like how many game uh, like like quote cartoons that we have here that doesn't have a game. And you would think that you know one of the ways that you know one of the you know if it was the new kind of uh, you know path, uh, you know, if you're gonna try to make money, you know, instead of you know making like you know Flintstones, uh, you know. Uh, vitamins and Flintstone like lunch boxes and like crap like that. I'm sure. I mean, those make will will make lots of money. Sure, great. But you know, why not make a Flintstones video game or something? Or you know, uh, you know I was gonna say Simpsons, but you know, they, they do have a Simpsons game. They do have. You know, but like, um, what's another example? Uh, classic Scooby Doo, for example. Okay, why don't they have a Scooby Doo video game? Or why don't or like classic Scooby Doo, of course. Um, you know, and then there's some of the other classic ones, um, you know, Lone Ranger, uh, you know, uh, back in the day, uh, you know, Spider-Man is Amazing Friends, you know, you know, I think that would be kind of, kind of a cool game back in the day. When, when, when did they make one of those ones? Uh, you know, um, I think they made an elf game back in the day, right? Uh, you know. One comment. Well, they made ET the video game for the Atari 20, uh, 2500. Yeah, yeah, we all know how well that went. <laughs> so, you know, maybe they got gun shy. They figured, they, they, you know, they figured, you know, 
yeah, this this the, the, this thing of making video games on cartoons is not a good thing. So you know, who knows? And and unfortunately, you know, that's just a, uh, you know, that's maybe that's the that, that that's why uh, over here in North America we didn't get a lot of those type of th- you know those, those type of things. They had to actually create new franchises. Uh, anime and video games, it will never work. <laughs> In certain names, that's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, that's my life. PC Engine is the best. Yes, uh, I'd have to. Uh, you know, many people, uh, you know, agree that the, you know the, the, the PC Engine is the most. Um, you know, for otaku's would be the best, of course, right? Uh, what uh, pro PC FPS player do? To the to their monitors. Uh, saw the Peace Engine game in the stack. Oh, no, that's a nostalgia. Yes, uh, that, that will come up uh, very soon. I love Yuna. Just watched it through the OVS a while ago. Everyone loves uh, you know, Luna. That definitely. That's a, that, 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 that was a that was a, that was one of those hidden gems uh, about uh, about anime. That's for sure. Um, uh, Toho Gaijin. I also see Lane, Chi, and Fei. Can't tell who the next uh, to Fei is. Uh, I can't remember what picture you're referring to, but okay. Um, well, maybe we'll go back to that first. Uh, Summer Gamer. That's cool. At least it uh, tried to explain science behind it instead of stating that the energy was produced by the power of love. There's lots of uh, powers in the universe that are very strong, and uh, you know, in the in the Sailor Moon universe, yes, the power of love and that kind of stuff, uh, you know, is is what, what, you know, but uh, okay, but uh, no one can deny the power of the Onikis. Yes, they will take over the world with. With uh, with uh, blood and sweat, yes. Anyway, <laughs> I think that's another game that we'll have to try later. Okay. Game just freeze on me. I'm just gonna hit reset because I think the game just froze on me here. <laughs> Go through and uh, someone is asking for a Choaniki stream. Oh my god! <laughs> the Choaniki game is a, is, a, is a shooting game, and unfortunately, some of the things I'm not very, I am really horrible at. So, episode one. Okay. So I'll pre- let's proceed on here. Okay, so we're on the bridge of the Yamato. Okay. Okay. Right, so we have to go and intercept these guys. All right. That's it. Okay. So. All right. So, so basically, you are like the ca- the captain of the ship, right? And then basically, uh, you can you know get the different reports. So. So Kondo's going, okay, Captain, all right. Yosh. Let's go forward. Okay. So, um, basically, you, you you switch between the different stations, right? And then d- different people will give you reports as the enemy is approaching. Okay, so it's like, all right, missiles approaching at 6,000. And then, no, nope, missiles at 4,000. So then basically you have to go over missile slot 2000 and then okay so then he goes okay aim it up all right 
No, I'm supposed to go to the gun control. Oops, boom. So I got myself killed. <laughs> That's it. And boom. So anyway. So this is kind of a, uh, you know, uh, you get to play the captain of the ship. And, uh, you know, as, you know, everyone on the bridge has different, um, uh, you know, um, shall we say, uh, duties, okay? And then based on what information you need to know, you have to go to those people to, to, to get them to tell you what to do. So in this case, I was supposed to go to the gun um the, the, you know, the gunnery person, which is Kodo, and then tell him to lock on the, you know, get him to lock on the missile and, 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 and do countermeasures against the missile before the missile hits me. Anyway. But, anyway, so that's, uh, so, 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 so uh, you know, I'm going to classify that as a, as a, um, uh, you know, uh, kind of a battle sim, I guess you can say. So, uh, you know, if they ever made a, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, a Star Trek, uh, you know, one battle simulator game, and you get to play the uh, the captain on the bridge. Then you know, you can you, you can do the same thing. You could say, you know, you could do the you know, uh, you know, tell you know, the, 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 if you need Sulu to move the ship forward, then you can do that, and then it's okay, okay. Uh, you know, tell the you know, you know, tell the gunnery person, okay, lock later, you know. Full spread, you know, that's, I think. But again, that's just one of these you know, control games, anyway. Okay, so, so next one here, I'm gonna do, pull out off the stack is uh, this one here. This is Cosmic Fantasy, okay, for the PC Engine. All right. Now again, this is another one of these ones where did they release the 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 game first or they release the anime first? Uh, I'd have to say they released the game first. And this version of the game, um, I would have to say, would came on one of the early systems, Sega maybe. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna wait until the game boots up here. Uh, Togajin, I remember when I was young, my mom uh, had a friend that was an otaku. Uh, and little did I know that she was more than that. Long story short, she used to give us anime on VHS and DVD, and I loved it. Okay, well there you go. That's you see in, in the modern era. Okay, you know it's it, 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 it's um you know it's kind of cool because like you know. Nowadays, you see, now, you know, you know, me being a Taku, I can, you know, give my kid, uh, you know, all the access to all the anime and, uh, you know, whatever, you know, th you know, give him ideas, you know, pull up influences of animes and that kind of stuff that he'd be interested in watching now, uh, you know, that I can do. So, in many ways, you know, the, the, the modern millennial generation kind of grows up with knowing about anime, having anime. Where the earlier generation before, um, you know, we had to work really hard to get our anime because, uh, you know, you know, uh, social media is not the way it is. Uh, the internet was not as, as as advanced as it was. Basically, you know, you can imagine, you know, um, how hard to do things on Windows ninety five. I mean, just think about it. Right? <laughs> Windows ninety five. You mean know, an operating system that you had to install on like four floppy diskettes? I mean, you know. And uh, you know, trying to get internet on like AOL discs. <laughs> I mean, this is the era that we had to work with, so you know, it, it was uh, it was pretty difficult, right? Okay, reset. All right. So let's boot up uh, Cosmic Fantasy here. So uh, Cosmic Fantasy is is one of these classic um, you know RPG games that a lot of people think, you know, got into, and it was really nice to the fact that yeah, again. Um, you know, by finally making it out on on, on, a, on a on a major disc like this, it was really really nice. Okay, because again, this is really one of the, again the very first versions of this game where it started using the you know the the, the original voice actors from like Yu and Saya and all that kind of stuff. Now, 
Now, there is a story, okay? Now, on this uh, Cosmic Fantasy thing, you can either play Cosmic Fantasy 1 or Cosmic Fantasy 2, okay? Um, now, 2 is the... the, the okay, now, they, they, they've released versions of uh, Cosmic Fantasy 1 um, out there, and... And uh, so I'm not gonna do this well, but you can go to Core Street 2. Again, Sounds Fantasy 2, you can do different uh, scenes and whatever. So let's just go to scene 1, whatever. We... Okay. Alright. So. Come on, you just see? Sometimes, gamer, that's muscle power. Yes. <laughs> the, yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, I mean, the, I I know that the Anikis were a running joke, uh, you know, within the, the company of Asaya, and I know that you know because they spawned out of you know Langrisa, that was the big whole you know big thing about it. And um, when I'm doing the Langrisa, you will see how this, you'll see more um, how the personality of the. Uh, uh, of the programmers at, uh, at Messiah and how I'm not gonna say the word demented, but you know just how how special and how strange those guys are. Okay, just 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 wait until I get to that part, and then you'll see that. Okay, uh, then then you'll see um, you know the whole creation of the Anikis and, and all that kind of stuff. It's just you know. Uh, it's just, it's just not appreciated the same way that uh, that we get here. Okay. It's, it's kind of really cool. Trojan, nice bulk. Hoorah! Really? Zunchacha, Zunchacha, Julia. Aha! Right? Okay. I wonder if there's any Battleship Yamato game that was released in the West. I can't recall. I don't believe there ever was. Um, at least not in the same way that it is. I mean, I, you know, the, the, again, uh, this uh, PC Engine version is a battle simulator. And it, it, it's actually kind of fun to play once you get used to the fact that, like, you know, because the, the controls aren't that difficult when you think about it, right? Because you got to go, okay, you know, you know, you know that, okay, you know, Kondo is the, is the gun guy. So if you need to use the gun, you just. You move the cursor over to him, and then, then then he will shoot stuff for you, and then you know, and then of course you know, and, and you know we go in and, and you know, this. Uh, I'll, I'll get into more stories about that because I because I don't want to you know give out all my all my weird Yamato stories and all that stuff right now. So because you know, because I want to get into like uh, you know the whole entire um, um, you know the the uh, space uh, battleship Yamato Dojinshi's okay Dojinshi that that's a really big popular topic. But you know, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see that for a later stream. Don't wanna do that. Uh, there's a Solaris mod for Yamato ships. Yeah, the, 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 um, Yamato and that kind of stuff. You know, it always shows up in a lot of different things, right? I mean, you know, they say uh, you know, you know, in the modern days, like oh, you haven't played uh, you know warships or whatever. <laughs> um, a world of warships, and it's like. Yes, you can sink the Yamato again and do it again. Uh, you know, whatever you can, and sink the Yamato again. You know, but that's not really the same because they said, you know, because after they made all the space model ships, and uh, then it suddenly becomes way, way more powerful. But um, I know that there are some modded instructions for uh, a board game called Full Thrust. Um, I know that they, they they've done some modifications and that because for, for that as well. Uh, I know that 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 has happened. Okay. Wairudo. Um, I can't believe that people would do and want to go through the process of fan subbing a laser disc. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess a lot of people would call me pretty crazy, I suppose, for that for, the, for that aspect too. Yes. And, um, but yeah, uh, but we had, didn't have a choice because I said, you know, here we had this anime. Okay. And it was easy enough to get the anime from, um, you know, from Japan, or or we rented it, or you know, we bought the laser discs and that kind of stuff. Um, but the, you know, it always serves the problem is that you know, sure, I could get around 
watching the anime with just straight Japanese and, and, and like I can kind of sort of piece together what's going on and and if I didn't really 100% going on but I really need to know what's going on I can, I can go up to say you know like Daisuke or Matt and go Daisuke or Matt uh, yeah I'm watching this show what the hell's going on and you know and I should say oh okay uh, he may not tell me word for word and he kind of kind of maybe sometimes he'd go you know, he can kind of, kind of, kind of just say a little, mm, you know, kind of just say it a little bit like that, and and and, and he'll just make up something else and whatever, right? And then, and, and, and then, and he'll explain it in a sort of a short Cole's note version, or he might sometimes say, he kind of answer the question but use a a side to answer it, and you know, so 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 you kind of got it, but you don't really got it, you know, if you kind of you know what I mean, right? So then, so then it's like, okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna just say, uh, uh, just, just translate the entire crap, and then we'll just just, just go from that. Okay, just uh, whatever. And, and that, that's basically when I went, we went out and, and bought the equipment necessary to you know to do the you know, to, do, to do the overlays and to do the subbing, and then we're just gonna do all that. Uh, you know, went through the process of trying to figure out how to do the systems because as I said again, this time, you know. You know, we didn't even have Windows 95 when I first started. We didn't even have Windows 95, uh, you know, on, on a system. So you can try to imagine trying to do computer graphics and that kind of stuff without even a Windows interface. Okay, so it was it was, it was uh, considered pretty tough, for sure. Uh, you missed the second part of my anime story. Ooh, what? what well, do I? <laughs> Sorry about that. I, 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 uh, I'm gonna have to get a bigger. Um, just uh, here, I'll uh, apologize for the the, the the wackiness I'm doing here. Um, oops. Okay. Just so you know, uh, you know, uh, on my interface here. Um, I am basically following the YouTube stream on the, the, on this thing here, right? So the the, the, the words are, are are a little bit small, and uh, you know sometimes it scrolls right off my screen here. So I, I, sometimes I can't really tell what I'm doing. So, um, uh, but um, uh, I will have to um, back up and I'll go this off. So no, <laughs> work with me here, okay? <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, I'll go back to there. Anyway, so okay, okay. So I did the part where it says uh, at least trying to explain the of that. I remember that was young. Say so. Later, I found out that the most of the anime that she gave us were mainly for women. Titles like Get Backers, Wise Cruise, and Sayuki. Oh, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I shouldn't say that because, um, I mean, because like I said, like, sure, uh, you know, not that they were chick flicks or that stuff, you know, Get Backers, uh, you know, predominantly male characters. Wise Cruise, obviously, predominantly male characters as the thing. Um, uh, X Japan, or uh, like, or sorry, X, um, you know, that had primarily male characters and that kind of stuff. Even though, even though it was a clamp title, uh, you know, X was a, was, was a big one. Um, Sayuki, yeah, I mean, you know, granted, yeah, that was a uh, you know, thing. But, you know, that entire genre of, of, of animes and that kind of stuff had lots of action and that kind of stuff. But again, um, you know, because of the fact that uh, it has a majority of male characters, uh, you know, the, the, you know, there's that interest of, of the male say, seiyus and, uh, you know, the pretty boy um, uh, look to it, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm, yeah. I, I, I kind of feel for you, <laughs> but see, at the same token, you see, quote, you could have went into the women, woman animes or that kind of stuff, as uh, you know, in the entire era of the magical girls uh, shows. Okay, 
And so after uh, Arctic Animation did a lot of things like Pat Labor and that kind of stuff, we started doing um, uh, getting into the Magical Girl kick because uh, this is you know all off of the Sailor Moon thing. So we did things like Miracle Girls, Himichan's Ribbon, Red Riding Hood, Cha Cha. You know, one would say you know th th those are only you know designed for girls or whatever thing. But you know, the the, the comedy in Red Riding Hood, Cha Cha is really is really clever. It because it, it's because on one half it's got you know the appeal for kids and that kind of stuff. But on the other side, it's got the you know the the, the, the cynicism and and, and 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 the jabs that you could only understand as an adult, um, and so that was a really special series for that, and that was really good. Um, Miracle Girls I liked, even though again a magical girl show, but it it it, it, it uh, really went into to exactly what happened and some of the problems that would happen if you had that ability to basically transform your look and to be some. To, to be anybody you want it to be and um, I really enjoyed the first um, 16 episodes of that, uh, of that series it was a really good story arc um, and it was really cleverly done and um, you know it was, it was, and to me it was, it was also very quite emotional so I, I really like that that series too um, uh, Himichan's Ribbon was a great uh, art for that too um, you know the the ability to to, to have that uh, the, the you know the, the changing ribbon, and that was really good. So, um, I wouldn't feel bad about it because I said it got you into anime, it got you into a different type of anime, and you know maybe at first it was a little bit confusing, but it it, it still was a uh, uh, you know uh, a neat sort of thing. Okay. All right. So as you see, the you know this is cause of fantasy is a is, is very much like a, like a digital comic. Okay. I remember doing this fan subs for that one. It was really, uh, you know, it was it was a fun series to do, because uh, um, I remember um, the funny fun. Okay, the, 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 drop that, uh, drop seat here. Um, I remember um, when I was when I was watching uh, or uh, going through the magazines um, because I, I, I did it on my YouTube channel there. Um, I was flipping through, I think it was New Type or whatever, and um, what had happened is is that I saw the ad for it, and there was this poster. Now if you, it's hard to kind of describe it. I'll try to remember, but there you remember the poster of basically a girl in a swimsuit, and there's a um, there's a dog basically pulling on the bikini of the woman, and basically, you know, um, you know. She's getting her bottom part of the bikini pulled off by the dog, and then of course there's the guy looking uh, at this uh, this thing. So basically, if you can think of um, cosmic fantasy, the, the same thing is sort of happening. Uh, Saya is in a bathing suit on the beach, and what's happening is is the um, you know well it's not a dog, but basically what's happening is the button on her bikini has popped, so her 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 babini pants are coming down, and the strap on her bra, uh, you know, the bikini top, is falling off. So she's covered up on the top, and basically, you know, you know Yo is standing there, uh, or you uh, is standing there, and uh, you know, he's uh, just surprised, and you know, you know, eyes wide open, you know, so you know. So that was a kind of, but anyway, this poster was a limited edition poster that was supposed to, the, 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 that comes in on the first um, release of the Laserdisc. So that was one of those things that I went, okay, I'm gonna you know get, get on it, and get that Laserdisc ordered in, get that poster, and uh, there you go. So yeah, so that was also one of those, those good, good things that, that they did in the past was when you bought Laserdisc and that kind of stuff, and I'm, I'm sure they do it now too, but. Um, you know, if you were the first guys to get in there, you know, you can be one of those first, you know, limited edition, you know, get into the first limited edition stuff, which is really, really good, right? You, 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 you know, jump in when you can, right? Nowadays, no one cares. No one watches the movies. No one, you know, no one cares about posters and that kind of stuff anyway. But uh, if you're really a fan, that was the way you had to do it, right? 
Okay, so the next game I'm going to put up is this one here. Uh, I think you all recognize what this one is. It's Sailor Moon, okay? The uh, digital collection. So let's put that up. Reset. Okay, hit reset. I'm gonna wait the game loads up. Espy Dante, do you own Ginga Densetsu Sapphire? Yes, I should have that game. <laughs> quickly, quickly going through my memory here. No, 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 no. Okay, I know what it sort of looks like. I remember. I remember the cover. I should have that one. I should have that. Yeah, I'm kind of going through memory here. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I should have, yes. Maybe that's one of those things I have to go through my, uh, my archive uh, thing and, and get it. Well, who knows? Maybe if I, yeah, in the middle of a break, I'll do that. Yeah, that's it. You got me going around it. Now I have to. Now I have to go right away. But the good, yeah, that's a yeah, that was a good one. I don't, even, I don't even quite remember what the how, how that played, but I, I, I remember the cover and I remember the. See, there's a lot of games I remember buying, and I, I played a little bit of it, but I never really got into it. So because I was busy playing other stuff or doing stuff and that kind of stuff. See, it's all good, my dude. Yes, <laughs> that was you. No, no, it's good. it's good that you mentioned it because, uh, uh, you know, um, if, it, if it was in fact that I, I, I saw that part about the uh, about the the enemies that you have, that was that was uh, that was a good uh, that was a good aside. Definitely. Yeah, I liked it when I was a kid. Didn't know any better till I was. When I saw a Wise Crew's concert on YouTube with all girls on the crowd, I learned about uh, Fujisho. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, th that's the thing. It's like, um, um, you know, that whole entire concept, you know, really didn't get on to me either. Um, uh, you know. I knew that you know the, the, the things like you know white crews get you know get backers and that kind of stuff, and that's probably about the time when everyone was really interested in things like um, I remember uh, you know uh, Larkin CL, uh, Gact, um, you know that kind of stuff. Uh, you, know, you know, really became really really popular. I mean, sure, I like I still like some Larkin CL songs, especially like um, uh, you know. Like um, uh, GTO, I remember. Yeah, um, I didn't actually like um, uh, Ready Set Go. I, I that was not one of the songs I like. I think that was probably after they the, they started doing all the, the, the kind of weird stuff. Um, um, Ruji um, Ruji Sakamoto, uh, he he did that uh, Glass song, which I really really liked. That was um, you know that was that, that's not one of those uh, songs from that era of music I, I really liked. So. Okay, so this is the Sailor Moon Collection. Now, they made a couple of different Sailor Moon games, um, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, I remember the, one of the ones that, uh, so, okay. So, obviously, I guess you have to, to, to pick which character you, 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 you like uh, to, you know, to follow, so. My favorite character is Sailor Mars, so I'm going to do Mars. So what are your favorite characters? Okay, 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 okay guys, alright. Which one is your favorite character? Come on. 
Admit it. And I've, you know, I, 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 I've, I've, I've pulled, you know, I got a YouTube video where I, I, I pulled out my, my Sailor Moon card collection and, uh, you know, and, and, and it's, you know, like I said, it's full of, um, it's full of Marsh. Okay. So, oh, uh, let's see. What do you got here? Okay. Hmm. Do I wonder not to outfit? outfit. See, do I want her in the island of the star thing? Do I want her in that? Or do I want her in school uniform? Ah, uh, let's do her in the in the evening dress. There we go. I like this one. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I think one of the one, one, one of the thing one of the like like and this, like this is a collection game, but I mean uh, I think one of the more funnest games that a lot of people liked in the Sailor Moon series was the Sailor Moon fighting games. Now of course they they they, they made a couple across a couple different systems, and you know and and because of where they fit in the in the, in the time when they first came out, um, determined um, you know how many characters were in it. But because I can remember they initially made one on the Super Nintendo, but it only was the first series of, of of, of fighting guys so you didn't have everybody and then I know remember, there was one on the 3DO which was like kind of quasi 3D polygon rendered but not really and that one was good because um, you know it, it, it got up to least I think it got up to Paluto so that was really kind of cool and um, you know and then I think the other one was And I think they, uh, I think by the time we got to the PlayStation version, we got other one. <laughs> oh. She must have browsed on some porn. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay. Oh, Sapphire is a shooter. Yes, I think that's right. The Sapphire is a shooter. It's one of the most expensive games on the PC Engine CD. It's a great shooter game. Hard to find, though. Thank you, Warudo. Yeah, it's just... yeah the, the, you, you are right. There, there's a whole bunch of games that, that, that suddenly appeared on the PC Engine and that kind of stuff, which are so hard to find. Definitely. And, 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 and for the most part, you know, they're... Um, um, Shooting games, yes, you're right, are probably one of the hardest games to, to, to find. Definitely, I remember the broken SNES fighter game of Sailor Moon. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay away from. You stay away from her, smart man. Ah, huh? she's mine. <laughs> Spider. <laughs> should I? Should I? Try, try, should, should I? Okay, no, no, I'm, I'm not going to tell you. You know, okay, in the end of the episode, I, sh I should talk about the the, uh, the 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 stories of the uh, of, of the of the big Sailor Moon posters and some of the customers who bought my uh, okay and and the story goes that uh, you know uh, one of the one of the pieces of merchandise that that, that that they released for Sailor Moon was basically life sized or you know basically proper height anyway uh, uh, posters. Of Sailor Moon, and they had one for every like 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 every one of the Sailor Moon characters, all five of them there, right? And so I I I'd ordered them in, and they were expensive. Okay, I mean we're talking you know forty five fifty bucks for a poster, but they were like you know full body height length or so whatever. And so uh, you know and, and you know different people would buy, and, and everyone you know people would want to buy these posters because they were so um, you know large, right? And so. You know, and, and, and this, like you know, a whole bunch of people would buy that. Uh, most of the, you know, the, you know, the guys would buy the posters and, and do different things. So again, I, ha I had every, I had one of each of every one of them. Um, my favorite one again was Sailor Mars, um, even though it's she, she's she's in a standing form. I I'd always put it about the poster on a sideways, so she's 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 in a in a lying down form, uh, which was you know the way way I wanted it. it um, I wanted the wall, and. And then there's other, you know, guys, you know, I remember one person who, um, 
uh, he stored his posters underneath his bed so then he can he can say uh, he can actually literally say yeah I'm sleeping on top of Sailor Mars right uh, yeah okay that's uh, that, that that would be a great pickup line right there yeah and um, and then uh, I know that there was another guy who put the Sailor Moon poster on the ceiling right above his bed all right so then uh, yeah yeah so so therefore yeah he, he then he can then, you know, he can have the right to say that yeah yeah uh, you know I'm sleeping under Sailor Mars. Yeah, that's it. And so, so there you go. Yeah, I know. I get weird customers. Okay. So. Uh, I also remember that the Cinnamon beat 'em up game too. Yeah, good old Ranma S took the life size Cinnamon Mars. Yeah, and fl- yeah, and then laminated and put it over his bed. Yeah, so that yeah, th- that, that that's right, Chad. That. That was the yeah, that was the exact story I remember and, and uh, yeah, he he, had the, the, he he mounted it on top of his bed so that he could say yeah Sailor Moon sl- he he sleeps um, under Sailor Moon that's right there you go I think it was it Who, who's the other guy yeah, that, that that said he he put it under the bed oh that was George I think that's right yeah yeah I remember right yes yes yeah he's he's the one that put the Sailor Moon poster underneath his bed so he could say yeah. Uh, I'm sleeping on top of Sailor Moon. That's right. See, see, you, you see. You know, they, you know, these guys had the concept of waifu long before Azumanga Daio. Okay, so you can see that this is sort of a visual collection. Uh, you can do slight modifications to things, and you can do little, um, uh, okay. And again, you know, so they, they did make different versions of the Sailor Moon game. Uh, uh, you know, as I said, they made fighting games and that kind of stuff. But yeah, this this in this particular thing, they made it more again of, of a digital uh, uh, comic. Uh, Okay. Now the next one I'm gonna throw in is the okay. The next game I'm putting up is the Dragon Ball Z game. Okay. Now, so you know, again, uh, Dragon Ball Z is not a new concept. I mean, you know, you know, everyone's you know, every probably console has made a Dragon Ball game. Most the uh, 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 you know Dragon Ball. Um, uh, you know, games and stuff like that, especially Budokan and all this stuff, they're all, like, fighting games, okay? And, you know, kind of makes it kind of obvious. I mean, what else? It's Dragon Ball. What you, you know, lots of characters, lots of things. That's all you do all, you know, that's all what, what every episode, uh, you know, the, 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 the games, uh, you, know, you would probably be the best kind of game that you would make for Dragon Ball. So I, I don't remember what this one was, but that's, uh, you know, it's a highly likely that that is that kind of a game. Let's see. Oops, I think I loaded it too soon here. Let's try it again. All right. See drum. Let's boot that up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. That lamination protects it from any moisture. Uh, easy to wash if it gets uh, dirty. Yeah, <laughs> Chad. <laughs> uh, in, you know, initially, I don't think that's what the uh, lamination on the posters were supposed to be for. But uh, you're absolutely right. Yes, it will protect it uh, from any um, 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 extraneous uh, moisture from getting onto the poster. And uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, if it, um, yep, and. Uh, if it, yeah, with a smite the uh, you know, rag, you can uh, definitely clean up all the uh, the stuff in case it gets uh, yeah uh, uh, dirty, uh, dirty. Yes. One, I wanted to ask. If all the shows you fans have are available online, and if not, uh, are they backed up? 
Um, the majority of the stuff that we fan sub uh, is has been either released um, commercially. Um, you know, in the case of you know, things like you know, obviously Sailor Moon, Gun the Wing, Pat Labor, um, Orange Road, um, Maison Ikaku. I mean, they, those all those shows. Commercial companies have picked them up. Not a big deal. You can get uh, copies of them. There are a few uh, animes that are, are that are done by us, um, but I guess what is, what they've done is they, you know, other fan sub groups have either redone them, uh, you know, in a more digital, you know, using digital um, subtitling techniques. So they've used more newer versions and they've you know put them out there and um um you know uh there are other shows like um that are still not really out there um and if you try to look for them they're, they're, they're really difficult um but i have to say out of okay let's just say out of a thousand titles that that, that we did i'd have to say a good 800 of them were probably now available in some way somehow on the uh, uh, you know commercially available so they, they've been commercially released there's probably about you know I said about another 100 or so 150 which are still in fan sub but you know you could get them in other ways and that kind of stuff and then there's that really obscure sort of little chunk that only we ever really did it um, and 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 uh, and some of it was was so obscure that we did, and we just did it for fun. Um, that that probably nobody else would have done it. Um, the, the 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 one of the things that just comes right to mind is the is that the thing that we did uh, called the Sailor Moon M. Um, you know, like no one no one would have fan subbed that, and no one would ever would do that. And hell, even at that time, um, I remember we were doing uh, Line Greaser. Uh, uh, FX, so this is uh, Durlang Greaser, so Lang Greaser 2 for the PC Engine FX and so, uh, you know when we first started playing that um, we actually fan subbed the, you know, the, 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 you know the, 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 the subtitles for that and you know, playing through level 1 and playing through level 2 we actually recorded it onto a video cassette and then we fan subbed the video cassette so, you know, that was probably one of the very first, um, you know live playthroughs of a video game in subtitle that we actually did that, you know that we actually did that at that time. Of course, now nowadays you know, like Greaser Two is already, uh, you know, I would, uh, there's tons of people playing that particular version. Uh, why is this not booting? <laughs> is it possible that this particular version of the game doesn't uh, doesn't run on the other? Who knows? Okay, so hope that answers your question. Um, and, and you're right; there are there are a few, you know, odd animes out there that that, that, that haven't been done. Um, I'm just trying to you know, go you know, physically in my mind. You can, you can remember a couple, um, Carol, uh, things like Salamobius, the movie one and two uh, are commercially released, but they're not available on YouTube. Uh, Five Star Stories is another one. One of the one of the one of the best. Uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, advertised, but never ever released in any form, and it's still you know the license holders are really holding on to that one. Um, but fan, you know, definitely that's a good fan sub. Five Star Stories. Um, I remember one of the other ones we did was Starship Troopers. That was a really good one. Um, I know a bunch of Hong Kong, um, uh, you know, when they made those bootleg DVDs, you know, they they came out with uh, uh, um, SPT Lasernar, uh Heavy Metal Elgheim. Those are available on, uh, on, on knockoff DVDs uh, from Hong Kong. That was cool. Uh, this uh, this uh, Dragon Ball game isn't booting up. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't work on the simulator. Let's see what I can figure out. It, well, from the back of it, uh, you know, you can tell it's uh, another type of uh, you know fighting type of game. So again, this is probably one of the very first uh, fighting version. I, I wouldn't say that because it said um, you know Super Nintendo had a fighting version of Dragon Ball uh, uh, as well. So this is probably just a slightly more newer, updated version of that, which is pretty cool. Okay, so a little bit more in my stack here. Uh, so yeah, Gastric. I hope that answers your question. 
Uh, okay, so the next one here is uh, another nice classic, uh, Tenshi Muyo. Okay, now that's another really really popular anime that came up from Pioneer. I, I, uh, it's, uh, that one, that one got a lot of people. Oops. Okay, so again, well, uh, just just uh, well, welcome uh, to the stream for those people who are new that uh, just suddenly uh, popped on. Uh, basically, uh, before we begin uh, doing any, uh, you know, like like Grisa uh, or whatnot, I'm just just taking care of some business. Uh, uh, you know, it's taking me. <laughs> almost an hour or two hours <laughs> but uh, yeah so basically I, I pulled out this stack of uh, PC Engine games and uh, yeah just, just doing a little bit of research before I um, uh, you know do my uh, video for the history of fan anime um, I want to just you know, go through and just boot up some of these games and just uh, show you guys what it's sort of like you know try to quickly remember myself what some of these videos are like because I don't even, uh, some of these games are going I don't quite remember how these things actually uh, played because I think, you know, sometimes I think, yeah, it's supposed to be one of these type of games, and I realize, oh, oops, it's not. But, uh, okay. So, yeah. Tenji Mui was a, is a, at the time, was a, was a quite a groundbreaking, um, um, anime, you know, as, especially as an OVA, you know, like, 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 like the OVA, and the uh, and the TV series and that kind of stuff. Uh, it was, you know, it was, uh, you know, definitely. I think it got a lot of people, you know, you know like uh, into that kind of stuff. Okay, so yeah, let's see. One says, uh, "I read a bit of the manga and then got bored." Now, why does that surprise me? <laughs> yes, there's some damage. They, 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 they tell... Uh, uh, the manga r really progressed pretty slowly, for sure. So, so uh, Dante just swapped to Twitch. Okay, that's... Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> if you if, uh, if you switch over to Twitch, uh, Dante, yeah, 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 your, your messages will show up on the list here. So, that's, uh, yeah, definitely. Say hi, eh? Right? <laughs> Toy Guy Jin. Also, Sir Venus, uh, you're your favorite. And Ayik, uh, yeah. Ayaka chan, yes. Best girl, yes. Yeah. Sir Venus was, um, no, no, no. So, um, Daisuke's favorite was Ami chan. And, uh, and so, yes. Uh, and uh no he always like that because kind of, you know, he always picks off characters i remember i was going down to, to the san diego comic-con and like you know i was trying to find a uh a, 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 a special uh uh you know a special ami chan uh, doujinshi you know and you know, I, I I really couldn't find a really good one. I mean, you know, because I, I I was thinking, you know, well, what I need is a uh, one of those uh, one of those good uh, you know, a Sailor Mercury versus the Tentacles type of uh, uh, and I just couldn't find the right one. Hi. Ah, uh, yes, Sammy. Okay, what happened here? Uh oh. Oh, Tenshi finally meets up with the <laughs> Yoko, and it's like, ha, ah, come here, and I'll bring my Yoki comes over, 
噔噔的啊，男人，可以啊 ，What？ <笑> What？ Where do you go？ 所、so、以 another one of these basically, uh, uh, you know, digital comics. Okay, so again, the, the, the opportunity for you to to you know relive and play through the story of Tenchi Muyo. Okay, so this is again, this is the episode where um, you know um, Tenchi goes into the cave and basically tries to you know, uh, uh, you know find out who this demon was, and ends up finding out that that Yoko comes and you know she falls in love with of course Yoko, uh, 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 um, um, Tenchi, and he goes. And then, okay, so, ah, yes, I saw the hidden part of Ryoki, the spaceship that's sitting in space, and you know, so, so they just, again, they're, they're basically doing a retelling of the story, um, you know, in a game form, so that you can go play through it as, uh, you know, in a, in a game. Okay. Okay. Now one more that, uh, that I'll do, okay, uh, is this one here. Uh, Dragon Knight Three, okay. So this might be kind of interesting. I don't know how far I'll get in this game for. Uh, um, okay. Actually, you know, actually, I'm not gonna actually put this up, and you know why? And you know why I won't do this one because I just realized uh, that, uh, yeah. Well, you know, okay. This is one of these weird ones, okay? Um, Dragon Knight, okay, is uh, is traditionally known as a uh, as, as one of the, probably one of the very first hentai animes and that kind of stuff that ever came out, right? Because it, it's one of the ones where. Um, you know, you're the adventurer, and you go into the dungeon and beat down the monsters and that kind of stuff. Now, the monsters that you meet are basically like you know, basically let's say um, you meet um, a tiger, okay, for example, right? Okay, so you go into the dungeon, and you, you know, and you, 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 you say, oh, you've encountered a tiger. Um, now, the tiger. Is actually a girl in a tiger suit, and basically you go and beat her down, and then when you, when, you know, and when you uh, basically uh, you know, submit to her, then she becomes uh, part of your party, and then you, then you, then, then uh, now you have her as a uh, as one of your uh, 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 slaves. Okay, <laughs> so I won't boot this up just because I know that uh, I'm. I'm uh, when I was trying the uh, Princess Minerva earlier on, I realized, you know, I probably shouldn't be streaming this stuff on uh, on, on Twitch because they'll probably get really upset. Because um, yeah, the, the the weird weird thing, you know, you, you you can say anything you want, but yeah, you can't show anything you want. And when as soon as you get into that sort of line, then then Twitch gets really really upset at me. So uh, yeah, so this is one of these uh, uh, weird uh, uh, you know hentai ish uh, RPG game. Uh, so I'm just gonna go back to the stream here and just just catch up with the uh, uh, messages on the stream here. Um, Tojin says, uh, "Sasmi Chan Kawaii." Yes, that's why they made like a whole, like like whole OVAs for itself. You know, the whole entire pretty Sami, uh, like you know, like uh, OVA and that kind of stuff. Uh, you know. The, the, you know, they, they made just for that particular reason, right? And, uh, you know, if it wasn't that popular, you know, just because you know, of, of the character, you know, they wouldn't have done that. And that was probably one of those, the first times that they, they did one of those offshoot things where, um, you know, uh, it, she wasn't the main character uh, in the series, 
But uh, you know, because uh, of of the fan following that, that that she got, they decided, okay, we'll make you a series, and then you can have you know the the, the, the magical pretty Sammy uh, series, okay, uh, for that, okay. So uh, let me grab my PC Engine CD for Languiser, and we'll get that ready there. And but before I get that ready, and before I do that, uh, you know, I. We'll just restart my thing here. Make sure all my feeds are going still here. Yep. Ding. Okay. Get that loaded, and while that's okay, so while that is loading, uh, let's see. Gastric does it glitch out in as well in the anime? Uh, no, it's, I think it's just the it said uh, um, because I'm running this on on the Magic Engine um, um, emulator. The this is the, the the really reason I'm using the Magic Engine uh, as opposed to some of the other uh, emulators out there is that the, it is supposed to be one of the very few ones that's supposed to support um, uh, the, the 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 CD-ROM. But of course, there's different versions of the CD-ROM, and then of course, on, on certain types of games, it doesn't 100% properly work because you, you sometimes you need that accelerator, or, or you need that um, that uh, what they call the arcade card, and all that kind of stuff for different uh, things and whatever. So uh, I could be forgetting that one of these games may require that, or uh, you know, maybe the uh, the uh, the um, the emulator doesn't perfectly work in that respect. So yeah, um, that's why I just leave that for that. Maybe when I actually pull out the PC Engine and I pull out my different capture card, uh, I will uh, you know get to that in a separate thing. Okay. Um, quick little status check here, just to see what's going on. Yeah, just so you can just just so you people know what I'm what I'm looking at here. Uh, I'll just change the webcam. So basically. Quick little stats check here. Now that uh, I can see it, I quickly have a look at my uh, my, my gym stats here. So uh, I'm standing outside uh, uh, the, the gym right outside. It's already blue, so that's good. And um, I have one spot from looks of it, so I can put one of my guys in. So maybe I'll uh, use this one here, and I'll stick in my Snorlax. And uh, okay, and then basically. Uh, there you go. Farming some, uh, uh, farming some goods on the, off of the gym there. Okay, so, uh, oh wait, so I'm sure you find that really interesting. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> if you see me point, uh, you know, looking down and uh, and tapping some things, that's uh, probably what I'm doing here. Okay, <laughs> good old uh, uh, farming the, uh, the, the 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 gym in order to get uh, some more. Uh, uh, stuff okay uh, let's see gastric now I want to play that game could never get rants to work yeah that's I I'm I mean again uh, getting the, some of the games on the emulators and that stuff to you know be really tricky to run um, now there is this um, you know they are planning to release the PC engine mini in 2020 mid mid 2020 i do believe it is so um you know who knows that might be the way to do it uh, you know by when they when they get that console out might be able to you know take these uh, cd-rom image well get it modded and then get the cd-rom image into the um uh in, into the mini and then that might be the you know the the, the the way to actually play the game uh you know without without it uh you know getting in there right Tojin, yeah, it's like Ilya from Fate getting her own magical girl spinoff. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, you know, the, the 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 thing about Face Day Night is is that there's so because that was sort of the beginning of the era of well, let's just keep you know plastering the the, the entire like it's okay, it's the opposite of, of what of what happened when you grew up, right? So instead of having like you know, like a show like Sayuki and Y Cruz and that kind of stuff where all the characters in the show are all male characters and they become, you know 
each individual male character has a different sort of thing. You know, one is sort of the strong one, one's sort of the you know the more effeminate one, one's the you know the younger you know sort of you know younger boy type one, and you know the other one can be like you know the 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 handsome girl you know the leching guy one or whatever. They're all you know maybe there's one that's sort of like a you know the 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 questionably gay guy, but you know. You know that sort of you know the the, the sort of mixture of of sort of say maleish characters that you got okay so then you know Fate Day and the, 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 you know and and, uh, and you know that entire genre starting from that is is that okay well we just have this whole you know bunch of girls okay and they all have different uh, you know personalities and that kind of stuff and they all sort of get together I mean you know take a look at something like um, Sister Princess okay <laughs> right. Um, you know, the, let's you know, let's, let's, uh, the whole entire concept of uh, harem buildings, or, or you know, of, of harem building anime, uh, uh, you know, all of a sudden came on that kind of stuff. So that's that's uh, you know, that, that was sort of the type of thing. Okay. Um, and you're right, uh, Lang Greaser hype. So yeah, we're back in the, the, into uh, Lang Greaser, which is what I initially wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> but thank you for all the people who have joined me and, and, and you know have uh, uh, you know have watched through and, and, and uh, you know watched me go through a bunch of these games and that kind of stuff. You know that's uh, I, I I just thought that you know when I went into the archives and to pull those things out, I thought well it might be kind of cool to kind of share uh, you know what some of these games are because again I'm sure. Most of you have never seen uh, or even known about these games uh, that I've pulled out. Uh, you know, and a lot of you, you know, again, you know, can recognize the animes and kind of go, "Oh yeah, I know what that is." And it's like they made a game, <laughs> and uh, you know, some of them are like, "Wow, that that was a pretty cool game," or that kind of stuff. Um, you know, um, I know um, because of this uh, whole entire playing of you know strategy and that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, one of the more popular games that the the, the, the people um, um, uh, you know are like uh, because of the fact that I'm running Langrisa is uh, this one right here. This is the uh, Macross strategy game, and again, if you haven't tried this one out, you should definitely um, have a look at it. Uh, I booted it up earlier on, and uh, you know, and tried uh, you know, and uh, tried a little bit of the you know, front uh, you know the first mission. And so you can see that, yeah, it, it it plays virtually like, you know, very much like Langrisa. But now you've got, you know, you kind of know what the story was, right? You know, you know that, you know, the Zentradi came and they, you know, they, 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 they toasted the earth and the whole thing. So it's kind of neat. But it's a slight variation of the story because, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're getting to like, uh, you know, some, some side characters and you know, whatnot. Okay. Okay, I uh, let's see. I wish War Song was on the mini. Yeah, they. <laughs> there's a lot of games that they should have put on the mini because they they announced like 40 games for the thing, and, and there's, there's a whole bunch of duplicates of the same game. But it it's strange because you know I would thought that they was they was going to release a PC Engine mini and then a Turbo Graphics mini, and then the Turbo Graphics mini would have like 40 English games, and the the, the PC Engine mini was going to have 40 Japanese games. But for some reason, or, or I don't know if it's cross communication, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll fix it or something. But uh, the, the the PC Engine uh, uh, Mini is, it will end up having, um, will end up having the same kind of games across both uh, 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 both platforms. So like, you know, how's that gonna work? Like, you know, so the so the people who are in English will get some of the Japanese games, and Japanese guys will get some of the English games, but it's the same game. So whatever. Okay. So basically, uh, so uh, this is uh, level fourteen. Uh, this is where uh, Layden and Lance finally, you know, forge an alliance together because uh, Layden had to save Lance's sorry ass uh, uh, in this level because he got himself stoned by the stupid basilisk. So that basically, Layden had to go and rescue his his uh, <laughs> rescue the bum and uh, and uh, you know unstone him. And uh, yeah, there you go. So on this level. We have to fight the Naga and, and his, uh, you know, uh, his, uh, his uh, skeleton troops, and fight off the, uh, the the wolves that are basically going to attack the village and try to kill the little girls. Okay. Since Langrisa, uh, since Japan has Langrisa two on the, their version, my default. 
or by default. Um, the PC Engine isn't too hard, just need the stack of blank CDs and a CD writer extension. And you're sad, yes, you, you are right. Uh, you know, um, as mentioned, these uh, CDs and that kind of stuff, um, um, pretty much are essentially CDs, okay? They're, they're, they're what they call X, uh, XA type CDs. Um, they have a um, they have their data or the or, or the game information um, on track two. So track two is not a uh, it's not a audio CD playable track. Okay, um, track one on this will be the, um, the 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 CD warning. So it's a you know warning. This is a PC Engine CD ROM uh, you know CD. Uh, you know uh, do not please do not play this in your CD player or as it will may cause uh, damage to your speaker systems or whatever and uh, blah 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 blah. You know all the disclaimer information that you know we get. But then, then of course uh, track two is your data track and um then basically uh, uh, you know tracks three onwards will be the game track uh, or sorry the cd tracks of all the um, um music and the uh, uh so, you know voice tracks and that kind of stuff so if you just put into a regular cd player your computer cd player um i showed you uh, or i had an example i think it was east um I do have it somewhere. <laughs> so, if you have this particular CD, which happens to be the PC Engine version of, or sorry, the Turbo, Turbo Graphics Duo version of the East one, okay? So, this is the English version of it, okay? If you shove that into a CD player, uh, for example, on the Mac, for example, iTunes will pop up. And I'll say, D, do you want me to go to the internet and find uh, the, 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 you know, the the titles for you? And it'll actually pull up a title CD listing for all the uh, things on this on this uh, CD. And so if you like a particular uh, music from a particular level, then you can definitely pull that up. Okay. So again, uh, the, you know, on the level 14 here, the winning condition is you basically got to save all these uh, people. So basically kill everything. Um, the losing conditions get laid and killed or uh, get the NPCs killed. Uh, where do I got to find those local modders in my, my swap meet? <laughs> True enough. Uh, I mean, I, I, I went on the Craigslist and I saw the, you know, this guy who's, who's modding um, Nintendo Mini, Super Nintendo Mini, and I guess PlayStation Mini. I think he's like charging like 20 bucks or whatever and he'll do the the the, the, the you know whatever the mod and uh give you a um memory card or something with like 50 games or something like that or whatever so you know hey it's you know i, I don't need that you know thing but because uh, I, I could load my own games or whatever on there but um still it's you know not that expensive i don't think so imagine it's probably the same everywhere um Gastric, I would not put anything past them. I think they mean that they are the same games, just using localization. Yes, you're right. Um, from what I gathered, they had um, both Neo Nectaris and Military Madness on the release of the uh, as part of your 40 games. So again, you know, Neo Nectaris is the Japanese version. Military Madness was the uh, is the English version. Uh, I do believe both of those versions are on that uh, disc. Um, can't think of any other title off the tip of my mind, but yeah, that, that was just one of the examples. I think that, that yeah, maybe worth getting Lords of Thunder. Oh, this Lords of Thunder that was a great game. I mean, I, uh, I mean, just that heavy metal music and that kind of stuff. It just I sure just really it was it was a really popular you know, from the game. Hard as hell though, some in some cases, but it was that was a good game definitely. Okay, so on the map here, um, we've got basically uh, four battalions of wolves. Those are those uh, red dots on the top uh, left. Okay, we've got four blue dots, which mark the um, the um, uh, civilians inside the town. And basically, you have to basically stop those wolves from getting to the town until those girls um, get into the in, into the uh, church. Okay, and there's a bunch of um, um, uh, bishops and that kind of stuff to help you. 
uh, do you know serve as blockers um, you know hopefully uh, but they won't last very long so you gotta kind of get in there um, you got the one red dot by itself that's Naya and his, uh, and his skeletons so we gotta be careful of that Oh, meant Lords of Thunder on the Sega CD. So expensive. Other than that, it's a great game. I meant Gates of Thunder. Mistake. Oh, yes, yes. Gates of Thunder and Lords of Thunder are pretty, well, <laughs> confusing enough, but yes, yeah. I thought Lords of Thunder was good, though. Yeah, Gates of Thunder was a. Uh, yeah, it was another. No, that was another uh, you know, good sort of playing game, too. Yeah. Shooting game. Yeah. Saber from Fate is my waifu. Then over, uh, then so for over ten years now. Two Heart is one of my favorite harem animes. Sega Sinestro, yes. Two Heart, yeah, that was a no, that, that was a nice anime as well. Yeah, I'd have to say so. For me, it would be a classic. Uh, uh, I still, um, you know. Because it was my, one of the very first animes I got into, you know, I, I really enjoyed Orange Road, and, and so my, you know, my very first thought was choice, you know, uh, you know, would be Ma uh, Madoka. And uh, you know, the funny story is, is that you know, um, uh, you know, uh, Madoka, you know, the, the you know the way that uh, you know I envision, uh, you know, uh, a beautiful, you know, a beautiful Asian. You know, it's, you know, sort of like, you know, sort of like, you know, sort of like, uh, tall, slender, um, you know, uh, evenly built, long, streaming hair, okay? And um, that was sort of the, you know, the, the, you know, the concepts that, you know, that you, that you think of when you're thinking of a, you know, of an, of an, of an ideal Asian, right? And then I remember, you know, I was one of these, uh, you know, the, 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 these people who, um, who um, met uh, my wife, uh, uh, over the internet, okay, and so I was using one of these, uh, you know, one of these, uh, you know, friend finder things, uh, 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 you know, at that time, to uh, you know, to 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 to, to try to find uh, a girlfriend and whatnot, and you know, so I put my picture up and my, my profile up or whatever, and you know, this is one of the sites where you have to pay money. The, the, sorry, the guys have to pay money to get, you know to put the, the profiles on the site. You know, the girls don't have to do anything, right? And, uh, you know, so I put my thing up and then, you know, I got, I got, I got a few, you know, sort of, uh, you know, those, but, that's a, but the one I got, uh, that was, you know, sort of the, you know, the, the, the most interesting and, and, the, and the biggest match, you know, um, you know, she sent me an email and says, oh, okay, whatever. And then, and then once I, once we, you know, got past the pay thing and, and, and exchanged, um, email addresses, the first thing that she does, she, she sends me this picture. Okay. And this picture obviously was taken in a in a in a, uh, in a in a photo studio. Okay, like later I found out that you know, you know um, in China this is always you know the, the big thing where you know you 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 just literally can walk off the street uh, into this photo studio, and this photo studio you know has like makeup people. They've got you know um, uh, uh, you know like um, uh, you know dress people or whatever you want. I guess you can call them um, you know not uh, not tailors, but like you know. People that that, that that can do quick modifications to, to, to clothing and that kind of stuff, um, you know, set people or whatever, um, um, dressing people. But you know, they 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 they'll, they'll you know, like, like you. So you step in there, and you want um, you know, you pay for a package, and then you say, okay, I want to you know do some shots of this. So she basically must have gone in and taken the shot, and she literally looks like Nami Omoro, okay, a young Nami Omoro in this thing. So she's you know, long, you know back length hair you know uh you know very young looking sort of you know evenly built slender uh you know uh you know you know sort of very clean face uh you know you know very you know you know all the things that you you'd really like and this was the first picture that she sent me like and i'm going oh my god this is like you know uh, you know, it's like I I, I, I hit jackpot, right? Like, like you know, it's like you know, like here now I put my picture, you know, what, what, what my profile, or whatever, up, and she's the one that picked me. Like she's the one that found me. And I'm going, okay, 
don't screw this up. <laughs> and so basically, yeah, so, uh, you know, we, 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 we exchanged each other for like a year. And then finally, uh, after that, uh, uh, you know, I actually went over to Japan or um, went over to China through, you know, uh, to, you know did a side trip to Japan and then went to, uh, through into China to actually meet her and just, you know, to check up uh, compatibility and that kind of stuff. And that's basically how I met my wife. And, and, and so, but all this, of course, you know, all... Uh, you know, in this in, in this uh, conversation of waifu and that kind of stuff, it's you know it's all um, based off of you know the the, the 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 thought or the vision that you know the the type of uh, you know the, the type of woman that I, I would want would be sort of modeled after Madoka or of course uh, you know if, if more in a modern day uh, or sort of real life form, would be something like a a, 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 a Namiya a Amoro or something like that, uh, the early one, yeah, and that's. Um, you know, that's how I would have, uh, you know, uh, envisioned it, right? So that's, that, that's my story. Okay, so. Um, so, yes, in this uh, level here, um, we don't have a lot of uh, troops. Uh, that, so as you, you can see, um, unlike the uh, Sega Genesis version, um, Anyone that you got killed off, for example, in the previous level, I got uh, Taylor killed, and uh, and uh, I think I got Soon killed off that uh, on, on, on the previous level I, I was showing you. Um, there is no permadeath, okay? So um, again, they use the Langrisa mobile rules where if you get yourself killed, you're not actually killed or you die, you uh, retreat, okay? So uh, those characters are available to you again um, here on the, on the roster. But again, you only have um, four characters that you can use on this level, and one of the characters has to be laden. So um, this makes it a little difficult. Okay, so now we're, you know, we've got to deal with skeletons. We've got to deal with wolves. Um, so obviously you're going to be bringing Chris. Uh, you'll probably bring Jessica because they, they have the holy troops. Leaves one more guy. Um, now... Um, Norm is already at, uh, uh, at her fourth uh, class change, so she's a ranger, so no, no need to give him more, any more experience points. Uh, soon is level five, so he's kind of far away from level. Um, Taylor, we already uh, upgraded him to a dragon knight uh, in the previous level, so uh, he's at his last class change, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, Earhart, uh, or Albert, sorry, um, is... Earhart is at level six. Hawking's level eight, so he's he's actually pretty good. a level eight uh, lord. So he will become a magic knight um, uh, very very soon. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll bring him along. I can maybe level him up. Okay, so first thing we do is we load up with troops. Now uh, in this level, it's uh, time is the essence. We have to get those guys over to to save those uh, troops. So I gotta use the fastest units, which are griffins. Okay, uh, Chris, oh, sorry, he's gonna use monks. That's what you definitely wanna do. Uh, Jessica, again, uh, want magic troops. I'll use the bishops and Hawking. Uh, well, I guess the best thing I can get is the archers, so let's load up the archers. And there you go. All right, oops. And okay, next thing we do is we equip with weapons. Okay, uh, let's see. Start with Laden, obviously, uh, may as well give Laden the sword of Langreaser. <laughs> kind of makes sense. Chris is obviously a magic user, so we'll load her with the orb. And Jessica is likewise. We'll use equip her with the orb. And Hawking, uh, why not give him the devil axe? Why not? All right, let's go that. All right, so we appear at the bottom here. Um, Layden has to get across the bridge first because he's got the fastest flying units. Um, second after the bridge could be either Jessica or Chris, so let's put, uh, Chris next, let's put, uh, 
Jessica next after that. And then last but not least, we'll put Hawking in the last position like that. Okay. Tojin, that, that's a nice story. Oh, thank you. That's, that's, sometimes, some, some people ask me, I was like, like you know, how did you meet? How, how did you meet my wife? And, and, and that's yeah, that's how I sort of better. Uh, uh, you know, again on uh, online. And again, this um, you understand, like you know, um, at the time of these uh, of, the, of these websites and that kind of stuff, uh, there was still a lot of this uh, really questionable stuff going on. Um, you know, um, one of the big things that that, that, that happened, uh, even at uh, even at this time. Was uh, you know that that story of, of where that guy was you know was chatting with this girl in Russia, and you know and they were doing this the whole thing or whatever, and then you know he eventually goes over to Russia to go and meet this uh, this girl, and then finds out that it happened to be this guy who just happened to be pretending to be a girl, and he was just basically trying to you know lead this guy on for all this stuff, and, and you know and, and you know and apparently you know. Did all this other sort of stuff, but yeah, I was aware of that kind of thing, and you know, I was you know making precautions and that kind of stuff for that. I, I you know, I've made phone calls, uh, you know, to her directly and, and had chats with her. Um, you know, you know, okay. Here's something that half of you guys will sit there and go, you know, that sounds like incredibly corny, and then uh, you know, and, and and half of you, uh, you know, the, the women out there, okay. Uh, uh, listening to the stream will say oh that's so romantic um, yeah okay but I'll tell you the story and then you can kind of be you can kind of be in in, in you know whatever you know, you know, camp that you want to there okay um, so uh, you know I've been chatting with uh, you know with my wife uh, the, or with my girlfriend at this time for you know uh, online and whatnot. Uh, you know we, we you know, it's hard because you know because you know I don't um, we're both Chinese obviously but I speak Cantonese she speaks Mandarin um, you know I can't read or type Chinese she can so you know but I don't I don't I, I, you know, I don't I can't read it um, I can't translate the you know and again we didn't have Google Translate at this time so we, you know things are really really tough to you know to, to, to converse so English ended up being our um, our medium. Um, but one of the things I did is, you know, I thought because you know it would be really, really thoughtful and kind of really kind of cute and neat uh, would be okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my karaoke machine, and I'm going to. And the song I, I I sort of picked out was I was going to say okay I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to get that um, right here waiting for you by Richard uh, Marx. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to you know I want to play that song. And I want to sing it to her on Valentine's Day. So I'm going to call her up long distance, and then um, basically I'm going to cue the you know on my side on the, on the computer I want to cue up the karaoke so it would play the vocal less version of it, and then it'll have the lyrics on the screen. So then I can sing the lyrics on the screen so I don't I, I don't you know fall out of place right. So, so I don't I don't um, you know make a fool of myself by but by, by miss singing the song right now or forgetting the lyrics or whatever right so i had the karaoke in front of me so i can play that and i can then you know sing the song to her and that's what it is so i phoned her up on on valentine's day said oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay I, i've got something special for you uh it, it just, just just sit back and listen right and then so i sang the song to her uh you know and again, I knew that her English wasn't all that good, so she probably didn't really hundred percent knew what the lyrics and that kind of stuff were. And but I, you know, but I sang it to her and whatever. And of course, she cried and you know, and you know, she thought, "Oh, that's beautiful," and, and you know, that's uh, you know, that, that, that's great. And I thought, "Okay, great." You know, I thought I, th I thought I did good, and it's like great. You know, I scored points. Okay, good. You know, whatever. Um. So, but that that's the first part of the story. The second part of the story is that okay, in two thousand four. Then I decided, you know, after we've been conversing for a year or whatever, I decided, okay, I'm going to go over there and meet her, and then basically, you know, um, you know, see, you know, stay with her, see how compatible we are, you know, see if we, you know, if this, uh, we can, you know, this relation consummates more. And so I meet her up, and um, 
And then uh, we, uh, you know, one of the things that we do is we go to a shopping mall. Okay, now they, they, one of the shopping malls that they have uh, there is called um, Ah. I was about to say something, and I realized I don't remember the actual. Um, okay, I, I don't remember the name of the mall for the for, for the time meeting. Okay, um, maybe it might uh, uh, come to my um, Calorfor, right? Calorfor, uh, C A L F O R. I think it's um, it's French in origin. Okay. Um, but it's you know it's a multi type of department store slash grocery store, and um, so so you know one of the on one of the days that we were there I was there uh, we went there to go do some shopping, and uh, you know and then uh, you know so we're, we're there grabbing stuff and then suddenly I, I'm listening to the uh, to to the PA you know to the to the to the you know to the, um, to the um, you know to the announcement or whatever the you know the the music if you will. And all of a sudden, they're playing, um, you know, right here waiting for you by Richard Marks. Now, the, you know, and and, and so I said, and I, I told her, "Hey, that's the song, right?" And and and, uh, and then she says, "It says yes, yes, you know, you know, that song is is really famous and really popular here." And like again, I didn't know this, but like I said, like because I thought, you know. You know, you know, China is really closed, and and you know the 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 influence of outside things uh, was really limited. So you know, I thought, ah, oh, you know, they don't know who who Richard Marx is, and uh, you know all that kind of stuff. But no, apparently, Richard Marx is really uh, famous and really popular in China, as with a lot of other, um, you know, these sort of sorry say. Really mushy and and, and, and romantic, uh, you know, love song kind of things. You know, so uh, you know, we're talking like Air Supply, we're talking like uh, George Michael, we're and Wham, and we're talking, um, you know, uh, Michael learns to rock. You know, these guys, they're really really popular in China, and so and, and like like I said, most um, you know. Chinese, uh, you know, you know, sorry, modern Chinese people know what all these songs are. Okay, so just by luck, I ended up picking this song that you know she had a no, you know, she had a no, a knowing of, and then the fact that I was able to sing this song to her, and she actually realized and recognized, you know, that this was the song, even though she may not know what the lyrics were, but probably now I realize she does actually know what the lyrics and and, and the song were, and, uh, and I sang that to her, and that's it. So that. That was sort of how it you know, came full cycle, and uh, you know, that's my whole entire uh, story of, uh, of of how uh, you know everything sort of really clicked and went, went really well. It's just you know, I, I don't know if it's just you know uh, a really lucky thing, I guess. You know, and really special. Anyway, I hope you liked that story. That was uh, that was kind of uh, you know, uh, you know, again, I'm sure that a lot of you guys are out there saying thing, oh, how, how corny, how sappy, and all this stuff, and and I said you know. So, and all you girls out there going, oh, that's so romantic. I wish my boyfriend did something like that. Maybe you need a new boyfriend. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Okay. All right. So, then it goes. Ah, oh, he just says, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is. You are the kids of uh, the. Uh, you are the the, the Baltia no Ojo, which is the king. He says, "Ah, the dumb man, you, Otto, you gonna have to come and get me." He says, he, he says, "Can't be as weak." And say, like, "Oh, he says, so do I. The battle begins." And so, let's quickly look at the map here. So basically, what we have to do. Is quickly get across this bridge. Got to get through these uh, Naya and and his uh, skeleton um, um, uh, 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 troop here, and basically try to get to this entrance of this door here. Okay, um, because the wolves are over here. Okay, and they're gonna quickly make it across relatively quickly over here. Okay, now there's you know a, a building full of girls here. They have to make it their way down here. There's a building of girls over here, but they can easily get over here and into this church here, okay, where it's all basically secure 
uh, with the entrance with the, with the one entrance on the one end okay so as long as we buy them enough times so that they can move in there uh, these guys here can come and block off the front of here uh, um, to basically serve as your uh, your, your, your temporary um, base okay so um, I have to try to get laid in at least here enough maybe to build a a sort of a, a, a two hex um, bl blockade right here because when you're here you know you can't get attacked you can only get attacked what was through one hex right you can't get attacked from this hex up here nor from this hex here because Jesus because I said in this system you can't attack diagonally um, at least not with the current units uh, that, that, that are in play so with this it can only be a one-on-one -on -one sort of battle here and one-on-one -on -one battle here so you know with the uh, things like griffins and that kind of stuff he shouldn't be able to knock me out so I should be able to then you know if he attacks me take the damaged ones move them back get a fresh new unit plop in there and then I should be able to hold out uh, uh, these hexes while I get my troops in place okay so that's what I will do um, I will first of all move wait in as far up this bridge I can get him. Um, and then I'll take uh, his flyers and try to get him as far as I can get now one of the things I should look at is you need to look at this zone of control, okay? Now, the zone of control is the blinking um, uh, blue area here. Um, so I can basically move to the first hex uh, just past the bridge. It is the highest and fa uh, the farthest point I can make it um, and still be in range, okay? And that's important because, you know, I, 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 don't, I definitely want to continue, you know, having the modifiers uh, for strength and that kind of stuff. Uh, the rest of these guys I'm going to put into the water so they can fly so no big deal right and uh, the important part of the but reason I that is because I want to get as many of Jessica's and uh, Chris's troops onto this bridge as possible because I need them to get across as fast as possible so that um, I can get them properly um, situated and deployed because there's going to be lots of wolves coming. <laughs> so let's put them in the water right here. Okay. Now, Chris can move her forward up to, up to here. Jessica can only move, let's say, to about here. Okay. I should have to change the command structure. So Layden is currently sitting right here. Uh, I can change his attack, uh, or sorry, his command structure to attack, to move, to um, um, defense, or to go manual. So I'm going to go to defense, and I think everyone else can be much the same way. Jessica can be in defensive mode, and Chris, go into defensive mode. All right, that leaves Hawking. He's over here. Now he can't cross the bridge right now, obviously there's, there's, gonna, there's gonna be a big roadblock uh, congestion there. So let's just, just let's just restage him at the base of the bridge. So as soon as I, I cut a hole through, um, he can begin. All right, and turn. Tojin, uh, gotta go to bed. That was nice talking to you. Don't really have any friends to share. The same interest. Hope we can talk again. Oh, yes, and me. Yes. Oh, yes, and me to you too. Have a good night. Thank you for joining on the stream. Uh, I guess I'm approaching uh, close, pretty close to midnight as well. Uh, I've been streaming for a little while, so I, I know that uh, YouTube has a you know a bit of an issue if I go over two hours per stream. So uh, I, I probably won't go too much longer because uh, you know the, the YouTube will start screaming and yelling at me for for stuff. <laughs> Okay, Wadrudo, good story, ten out of ten. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's a, um, you know, in my trip to China, there was there, there, there's a lot of, weird, of, of of funny things and stuff that that, that I did in China, and uh, you know, some of the the, the oddest things um, that that I remember seeing and, and made notes of. Because I remember, um, you know, I 
and I think about it, it's, it's kind of weird, but like, you know, I remember, you know, here I am, I'm in, um, in China, and, uh, you know, I'm wandering around uh, the streets in, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, you know, of Xinjiang, because she lives in um, um, Xinjiang, which is in the Liaoning province, um, which is in northern, in, uh, northern east uh, quadrant of uh, China. Okay. All the girls go, Kia! Hayaku! And so the girls have to, you know, they're screaming and running, hurry up! Okay. Um, so, yes, uh, the only thing is in the north uh, eastern quadrant of China, which is, uh, you know, sort of like the uh, beside the Mongolia slash uh, Russian border there. Um, and so, yeah, so, uh, so the part of things that I, I did um, was uh, on uh, certain days was um, I just wandered the, the 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 town and I had to, you know, I had to make my own maps, okay, like so literally on, on, on like graph paper, you know, basically draw, um, map out uh, different street names and different things, uh, different landmarks and that kind of stuff. So I, I, I knew that if I got to this point, um, you know, I, I knew that, you know, this is what it was or whatever. So, you know, I, I, and I drew up these re rather really, you know, complex maps of, of, her, of her town and, 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 you know, basically, uh, you know, made notes of things that, that, that I've, uh, that I've uh, you know, wandered across. But the, the, the neat thing is that uh, during all this, you know, I don't speak Mandarin, so I mean, I, I mean, sure, I look Asian and that kind of stuff, so I, you know, I, 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 I won't get mistaken as a, as a foreigner and like you know whatever. But at the same time, I really don't, I, I can't say anything, because um, you know, then they'll know that I'm, you know, they don't want to know what I'm talking about. And likewise, they, you know, I don't understand what they're talking about. I, 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 sure, I can maybe make, make a guess or something or whatever, but but I, you know. <laughs> You know, the typical, I don't know, what's the you know, I don't know, so. <laughs> yeah! This is getting good. And, uh, yeah, well, the wolves are going, ooh, yes. And so they're going to begin their attack run. Um... So yeah, so you know, so, so I find it really interesting that yeah, so I'm able to go into all these different various stores. I, just, I look around. I'm, I'm you know, I'm trying to be you know, I don't want to say anything. You know, I'll just sort of look and you know, make notes and you know, write down things like uh, where, you know, where the things like the where the you know, CD shops are, uh, where you know, where um, like you know, there's places that sell like, like really cheap DVDs and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, make note of uh, you know, bookstores. I I, you know, I found the arcade. You know, that's that's kind of cool. And, Things like that, you know, and uh, you know, just just wrote them on the map, and, 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 and uh, you know, just check it out, and, and uh, you know, my wife was fine with that, you know, it's like you know, because you know, you think, you know, maybe she's suspicious, and you know, like uh, you know, that I'm actually trying to, you know, the hook up or you know, try to find some weird places or whatever, find a massage parlor or something like that. But no, no, it's like, you know, she was, uh, she was, you know, it was, uh, it was good with that. So it, uh, you know. I did mark some of those places on the mark, but <laughs> I didn't really know what those a lot of some of those places are too. I think a lot of those places are pretty questionable to, say, to, to, to tell you the truth, but uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, different city, different day. And, and 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 you know what? And, and you know what? The, the the weird part was is that that uh, in the end, a lot of those places that I marked out on the map and whatnot, uh, when I went back to them, you know, uh, uh, you know, like uh, a, a later. Um, you know, they don't exist anymore. Like, you know, uh, a lot of the, uh, you know, here one day and gone the next uh, kind of stores, I guess, you know. So. Let's see. Gastric, I'm a real girl. Uh, your story is romantic. Do you want to meet me in Russia? <laughs> Tojo only knows five words. I think they are masters at the language. Pepper, pepper, shimmy. Yes. <laughs> Gastric, it reminds me of that, uh, of that uh, 
the uh, the, the the bulk um, uh, you know sometimes on your cell phone you get those uh, uh, bulk uh, messages or whatever that come up uh, you know like half times if they're for like China or whatever uh, you know trying to get your, your 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 information or whatnot but you know sometimes you get that weird you know text message and it's like yeah uh, exactly as you say yes <laughs> would you like to hook up yeah here you go I don't know how people would actually, you know, answer and text text back to those things. <laughs> Not recommended, right? Okay. So I'm gonna try to launch forward here mm, and try to beat down these guys as fast as possible. Either that or fly past them and uh, and then let um. Uh, Jessica or, 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 or Chris deal with them. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. So let's see. He can make it as far as that guy. You know, if I did that, I could probably just just take him out. Since you know, oh, well, okay. So here's your, here's your conundrum. Like you're, you're right. I can just go wrap this guy and and, and, and then just beam him right here, right? You know, um, you know, I'm carrying the sort of language, so I, I, you know, I, I probably have a pretty good chance to knock him out. But the problem is that's a lot of experience went down the tubes, and that would be kind of a waste. Um, the other thing I can do is I can go this way, and then try to fly around him, and then bring Chris and Nakas up, up through the middle here, to attack him on this side. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll bring him to here. I'll get rid of him here. Okay. And then basically take... See, I can go up to here and be in the zone of control. So I can move my forces forward to here. And I'm just going to continue moving back this forward. That and then have Chris move up. Well, yeah, this is a thought. Our Chris is good. Chris, we'll take that guy out. Good. Another one. This belongs to Chris. Good. she can go. Alright. Jessica, come forward. Who's this? Chris's? Okay, so Chris go forward. So basically, you know, the rest of this uh, will basically clog up the rest of the bridge, I'm sure. So let's get these guys onto the bridge. Uh, Hawking. He can make it to this hex here. And I don't want him to bother with that, I suppose. So. Go! And there we go. So that's uh, we get there. Warudo. Those scam calls are the worst. Yes, they absolutely are. Uh, the calls are much worse, though. Telling me that my computer will be destroyed if I don't listen. Uh, even in mountain time, it's late. Good night. Okay, well... Thank you for listening to the stream and joining us, uh, Gastric. Uh, yes, you're right. Mountain time um, is, you know, they usually go for, uh, you know, the, 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 I you know, like to start the stream when uh, Langrisa uh, Mobile does the, uh, you know, it's uh, reset, which is at, uh, you know, uh, 10 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time, which is, I guess is pretty close to midnight uh, Central Standard Time. So, uh, yes, I'm sure it's getting pretty late. Uh, indeed, it's actually probably about 11.40 on my, uh, my time down here too, so maybe what I'll do is, uh, since I've been streaming for quite a while um, uh, this evening, I'll save this so that, uh, you know, uh, we can continue on with the stream 
uh, tomorrow even, right? And uh, I can go and uh, maybe uh, clip out and make uh, my episode uh, for my uh, YouTube channel, uh, The History of Fan Anime. So, uh, I'll just uh, tie you up while the, these guys are doing it up. So, again, uh, thank you for uh, joining us on the stream. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Uh, no, a lot, you know, talked about lots and, uh, you know, good uh, audience participation. Uh, that's great. Lots of good questions and lots of, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you know, good things, uh, uh, that, that, that came out, pointed out, uh, some different stories, uh, like your story there, Tojo. That was really good. And, uh, you know, thank you for joining us, Dante. That was, uh, you know, I'm hoping you find that, uh, the, these, uh, you know, some more interesting things about that. Have you managed to try that, um, uh, the Macross game? Let me know. That's, uh, that was a really good, uh. A suggestion and uh, gastric thank you for uh uh your your stories and that it was really kind of, kind of cool <laughs> excellent and there you go and chad yeah your, your webcam works really good i gotta find a way to, 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 to put an arm on that thing so uh, you know who knows i'll have to find a way to to, to make an extension or something uh, keep that uh keep that nice and tight and so hopefully, uh, yeah, with, uh, you know, the, looks like the YouTube uh, um, uh, link worked really well this time. So I, I think I got it this time. Um, you know, configuring the, the, the stream I.O. thing was not as easy as I thought it was. It was, um, um, you know, I should say um, turnkey, maybe. No, 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 that's not the word. Um, automatic, maybe, uh, as I thought it was. It's not, uh, you know, it doesn't pre-configure itself. So, you know, um, I, you know, I'll keep trying out and I, I got it, but I'm glad that, that, that this one worked. So, uh, I'll get back to that uh, you know, when I can. Again, so I've got a nice little stack of, uh, you know, PC Engine games. I'll, I'll, I'll put that into my episode and, uh, we'll continue on from there. And anyway, and yes, I'll, can, I'll use the in-game save here to, to save the game and, uh, do that now before I, before I get save state in number six. There you go. And I'll I'll write that down on my little cheat sheet, because <laughs> otherwise I'm never going to remember. Uh, let's see. Uh, save game number six. Okay. Perfect. And there we go. So again, you can tell that I've, uh, you know, I've turned off the um, the uh, combat animations because just, you know, again, you, you know, we've got, uh, you know, 32 units of, uh, of wolves running around. So, you know, you can imagine trying to do all the combat animations with that. You got Niaga, of course, so there are eight. Yeah, um, well, you're a four, right? So, you know, definitely would slow things down a lot if you if you do that. Okay, so uh, what is he doing to me? He's throwing some stupid spell. Oh, what the hell? oh he threw sleep. <laughs> He's putting my guys to sleep. Okay, great. All right, punch up. No. Oh my god, I'm so, I killed himself in my own way. Uh, so, that's fine. I think I might be able to slip by him. Oh no, I can't. Stupid lady got put to sleep. That's not good. Okay, well. Uh, nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to uh, again save the game here. That's date number six. And we will leave it at that. Perfect. Okay, so. Uh, thank you again for uh, joining me on the stream. I hope you enjoyed uh, all the stories and all the the, the show and tell, as it were. Uh, I think you know today's participation the uh, was was very good. So again, uh, very good active chat today. You know, lots of good questions and uh, lots of good stories. All right, and that's always what it is. Have a little bit of fun with it. Have a little reminiscent of time. Share it a little bit as well. Okay, so. What you want to do is, uh, you know, for you, if you haven't done so, uh, you want to hit, uh, you know, if you're on YouTube, you want to hit subscribe. You want to get your notifications on so that uh, when I go live, then, you know, 
uh, the notifications will tell you that I have gone live, okay? Uh, but ideally speaking, what you want to do is you want to go to Twitch, all right? Um, any messages and that kind of stuff that you do on Twitch uh, will show up uh, below on this timeline here, and it's easier for me to see this one. Um, although I'll, I'll do something for YouTube later uh, to hopefully make the screen a little bit bigger and I can read things a little bit uh, better. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, again, it's, it's not for Twitch. I know it's mostly for games and stuff, but uh, you know, again, it's free to sign up and it's free to um, to, to, to watch streams and that stuff. So you don't have to be a subscriber or anything like that. Um, and by all means, do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, so when you have a chance, I'll also um, I will be also making uh, uh, you know, episodes of, you know, for the YouTube channel to add on to the history of fan anime because I haven't uh, kind of uh, missed. Uh, let's see, I kind of uh, screwed up and I thought yesterday was uh, Thursday, not Friday, and now I realize I don't tell. It's like now I'm a day behind. I forgot to post the, my video tonight, so I uh, still won't be able to do it tonight either. So, but, you know. <laughs> that's okay. Well, I'm, you know, I'm trying to keep it roughly a, an episode a day, and that's uh, you know, an episode of, uh, a week, but I'm doing lots of live streams, so getting caught up with that. That's all good. Okay. So, again, hope you have all a very great evening. And uh, again, uh, if you have a chance, please uh, show up again uh, and, and, you know, um, tomorrow night. And I will continue on and uh, maybe we'll do some more uh, cool stuff. And, uh, you know, who knows? We'll see what happens. Because uh, yeah, every day is a new day. All right. So, like they say at the uh, ending of the Heavy Metal Elgheim TV series, I will see you. All right, have a good night.